Destiny 2 Beyond Light on Stadia? Um, no. But... But, why, why would we play but, but I've heard that the best, two consoles but I've, I've heard that the best, I've heard that the best version of Destiny 2 will be on Stadia this holiday season. Really? I, I heard it's going to run at 4K and 40 frames per second. Really? 40 frames per yeah. second? I heard it's gonna do that. Um... Well... I think that on every other but. platform it's gonna be 60 frames, so... But, but all you need is a Chromecast to run Stadia. Yeah, but... So, in order to properly stadia, you, I, I, mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. no, not but, you. I think, I think you'll get over the disappointment. I, yeah, I think you will. But are you trying to say that even though Destiny 2 will be available on Xbox Game Pass mm -hmm. with its expansions, past and present, fully accounted for, and that mm -hmm. also by being a Game Pass subscriber, you also get access to xCloud, which, as you know, allows you to play your Xbox Series X or Xbox One X um, on a Bluetooth-enabled device with a screen, any Bluetooth-enabled device with a <laughs> screen, as like a uh, laptop or a mobile phone with extremely low latency. And that that also comes with Game Pass, and Destiny 2 will be fully compatible with it. Are you trying mm -hmm. to say that despite all of that, that Stadia will not be the best place to play Destiny 2 when Beyond Light releases? Um, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. I know it sounds crazy. Uh, I, because of everything that you said makes it seem like Stadia is definitely the place. I, I, Woo! But dear, you're just gonna have to, um. Uh. You're just gonna have to, you're just gonna have to forgive me on this one. Just gonna have to for forgive you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm forgiving you. I don't know if you're the one that needs forgiving. You're not? Poor, poor, st <laughs> oh, poor Stadia. Stadia, I'm sorry. I don't even know what to say to you right now. Um, yeah, Stadia. I don't even know what to say to you right now because Destiny 2 and is, is completely free on Game Pass, aside from the season passes. And but it, but Game Pass also comes with X Cloud, and X Cloud is so unbelievably perfect in the way it's uh, been rolled out and the technology mm -hmm. behind it. That it kind of, mm -hmm. yeah, it kind of out Stadia's Stadia, and it's just an yeah. add-on yeah. to an already great service that supplies you with hundreds of games from the Xbox, Xbox 360, and soon-to-be Series X libraries. Like, mm -hmm. damn. Your move, Google. <laughs> Seriously. Jeez. Just Microsoft just coming for your throat. For your throat. Microsoft is coming for Google in a whole lot of ways. I mean, 
I mean, I'm all about ownership in this day and age. You know, as far as it uh, lends itself to uh, the pieces of software you own, as you have infamously heard during the PlayStation 5 showcase uh, kind of roundup that we did. Um, mm -hmm. This will be the first and only generation, dear, that I do not own my gaming wares. This will be the first and last generation that I commit to that. Um, the titles yeah. that I am truly yeah. invested in, yes, I will be buying physical copies of games still. Yes, yes. I am no longer going to have a 90% digital library. Why do you feel that? Because as a unwitting historian, Minute. fan of gaming, and collector... I realize that at the end of this six or so year generation, I look back to my shelf or I look at my collection and realize 90% of it's digital because I barely invested yeah. in physical copies this generation. And while there were plenty of practical and technical reasons for me to go that route, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I look back at a Xbox one and PlayStation 4 Legacy and actually <laughs> in a really funny way I did physically buy every PlayStation 4 exclusive <laughs> I have God of War physically and The Last of Us Part 2 physically and Uncharted 4 physically mm -hmm. but the point being is that you know I look back at most of my Xbox One library and it's there's it like five discs and I own 438 games Wow. That yeah. And when you think about the fate of certain titles, like uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, not being available anywhere, anyway, anyhow, mm -hmm. it, even it, like, like if you didn't download it already, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gone. Wow. Ubisoft does not have control of that license, and no one involved has the licensing. Or, like, it's, it's in licensing limbo, basically. We don't even know if they can re-release it or get another license to release it at this point. So, you know, mm -hmm. when thinking about stuff like that, a completely digital game that's not playable anymore, uh, even Castle of Illusion, Mickey Mouse's Castle of Illusion, I have that game on Genesis. That was actually the second game I got for my Sega mm -hmm. Genesis, and I did not actually finish that game until about 10 years later. I shit you not, dear. Shit you not. I did not finish that game until, like, uh, not even that that game I've had I had since maybe 1990 and I don't think I actually finished it until maybe 2003 <laughs> 2002 oh my God. Oh yeah my God. like it, but I have that game and you know Sega made this awesome this astounding remake of it because I guess they had the license from the Genesis game you know it was all good but when Disney, um, you know, when Disney got fully into its Bob Iger bag and started buying up everyone and everything imaginable, LucasArts and Marvel, and they mm -hmm. shut down their entire gaming division, if you remember, infamously, because in the Fallout, Disney Interactive got shelved, which means that pretty much killed off Disney Infinity and other properties mm -hmm. um they sh since they owned lucasfilm that also came with lucas arts so they shut down lucas arts mm -hmm. their entire gaming division and when they did that you know and of course because they owned marvel they put the kibosh on the licenses for the marvel fighting games so all the downloads of marvel versus capcom Marvel Super Heroes, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, those all disappeared from the internet. Along with wow. Mickey's Castle of Illusion remake that Sega made, disappeared from yeah. the internet. So when I look back on it, I think to myself, wow, you know, the biggest difference between the Genesis Castle of Illusion and the digital one is that 10 years from now, I'm going to be able to pull out that Genesis version of Castle of Illusion and play it because I own it. Physically, I have it. It's mine. Whereas, I'm not entirely sure I'll be able to do that with the remake. 
I mean, I can still download it because I still have the license because I paid for it. It's no longer available to anyone who wants to buy it now. But I can still re-download it at my discretion. Right. But what if something else happens? Mm-hmm. You know, what if I can't download it on? Th- what if I can't re-download it three Xboxes from now? It's like that thing is just committed mm-hmm. to the digital wasteland forever. And that you know, it doesn't sit right with me. I mean, I know it's the nature of the business, and that unfortunately, that clash of art and product will always exist in the video Mm -hmm. gaming space because at the end of the day, while they can be considered works of art, video games are also products subject to licensing and snafus such as this. So, all that considered, Mm -hmm. while it was very nice to have a digital generation, I think moving forward, I'm just going to go back to my roots and just pick things up physically. I mean, you don't have to walk into a GameStop to pick up things physically. (laughs) So, you know, I have options even in that department. But, you know, convenience and all of that aside, I just, I'm going to do that. The PS5 and uh, Series X generation, just going to pick up as many physical copies as I can of of everything I'm really interested in. You know, like if it's something innocuous, whatever. But even if it's a digital game, because they've released some digital games in limited edition physical boxes and things like that. Stuff that's right up my alley, you know, like... They had a physical case for Cuphead Mm -hmm. that looked really cool that I just didn't, you know, get down on because I downloaded it. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, that's a part of gaming that I think I don't want to let go of and that looking back on this whole generation, I kind of regret going that route. So, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, going to kind of commit to the roots because I love looking over my shoulder and seeing, like, the Resident Evil 4 chainsaw controller, as silly as that thing is. I just, there's something quaint <laughs> and wonderful about that. Or even the original Destiny. Like, I have, I have the original Destiny for um, PlayStation 4. <laughs> I infamously downloaded it on Xbox so that I could get the free 360 upgrade. But I physically own Destiny on PS4. I can look over and see the Destiny 1 box. It's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, it, 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 it's nice. I, I miss that. <laughs> It'd be nice to put the Halo Infinite okay. box next to all of my other copies of Halo, which up until Halo 5 were bought physically. Oh, Halo. Yeah, I'd never bought Halo 5 Guardians physically. I, I bought Halo 4 physically. That game was two discs on Xbox 360. Two discs. <laughs> That's how you know. Oh, and it looked phenomenal, by the by. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. that was a good-looking 360 game. Mm-hmm. Like, when we played it on the Master Chief Collection, really the upgrades were just to the resolution and, I th- oh, and the frame rate. But everything else, like those textures, all that, it looked that good. It did. It, Halo 4 was a very good-looking game. It came out in, like, 2012. So that was like a, you know, the year of the the 360s, I mean, the year of the 360s death type situation. Like, that's when games look their best, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know. For that generation around 2013. Well, 2013 is when the Xbox One and PS4 came out. But 2012, that was when Halo 4 came out, Grand Theft Auto um, five came out that year. Mm-hmm. What else? What else came out? What else came out in twenty? Oh, Max Payne three. Like twenty twelve. Like Max the Payne really 3. good looking yeah, games yeah. were in full swing. Max Payne three was two discs. Shit. <laughs> Max Payne three was definitely two discs. I remember that. Mm-hmm. I remember the the PC version had a recommended. 16 gigs of RAM. <laughs> That's That's 16 insane. gigs. That is insane. Dear, the Xbox One X has That's 12. The Xbox One X has 12 <laughs> gigs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Max Payne 3 on PC was like, oh, well, in order to get the best experience, you should have 16 gigs of RAM. I was like, well, it's a good thing I'm not trying to play this at 4K60 then, isn't it? Clearly. 
clearly not going for those max settings, so <laughs> bless my soul and my CPU. Bless your CPU indeed. But but speaking of these things, Three minutes ah, remaining. welcome, welcome one, welcome all to the expert playlist. Welcome. Episode one fifty nine. The uh, Le Monarch tasting session. Buff. The Le Monarch tasting session. Well, yesterday we made. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, hey, 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 hey. Was I done? Was I, was I done though? I was not done! How dare you! Okay. <clears throat> As I was saying. <laughs> uh, before we get into that though, uh, I was saying a second ago about. Uh, you know, about Beyond Light uh, and purchasing physical copies of things. Um, I talked about it being on Game Pass and all that. Is that not one of the uh, issues uh, going on on our on our rundown? I figure before we get into the titular discussion of how we made and drank La Monarch, that uh, we could address that that quick little uh, flibberty gibbet. You know. Well, um, so you can, you know, as you were mentioning earlier, um, if you have Game Pass, you basically have access to Beyond Light, um, all the expansions, uh, for free, uh, for free. so, I, yeah, you're pretty I mean, much that sounds set. like a great deal on but, the surface. It does. It does, but... You still have to pay for the pay for the season uh -huh. pass. That is the catch. So yes, that is the catch. Because to me, I was like, wait a minute. So why would anybody pay for Beyond Light sixty dollars mm -hmm. for Beyond Light if they can just get it for free with a game mm -hmm. pass subscription, which is what like. 15 bucks a month that's that's if you like get that. ultimate i think it's 10 if you're doing just xbox one but if you want ultimate with pc xbox one like x cloud all the all the riffraff yeah that's that's like yeah. uh, 14.99 mm -hmm. yeah right right so yeah i mean why do that and then i realized wait a minute you still, if you want, you know, all the all the bells and whistles, mm -hmm. you know, with the seasonal mm -hmm. content and all like that. Like if you want the uh, the you freeze see. tag emote, the the emblem, mm -hmm. the no time to explain, you will still mm -hmm. need to pre-order it for those bonus items and for mm -hmm. the season pass, conversely. And for the season pass. And so. for the season pass. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, all right. In case people didn't understand that, because I thought... Myself included. I initially was confused about well, that. You know, it's funny. I think about it this way, and I think a lot of people did too. Like, really, like, hardcore Destiny fans or, like, Destiny fans for whom this is significant will definitely already have pre-ordered. You know, anybody, basically, that's mm -hmm. how you get the freeze tag emote and things of that nature. So... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody who's enough of a fan to want these items for, for whom these items would be significant, i.e. you and I, because we had no time to explain in Destiny 1, like, of course, yeah. this, like, directly yeah. appeals to our souls. So, while it may not <laughs> yeah. directly um, affect our experience, I think uh, for people that are on the fence about Destiny may be mm -hmm. cautious about investing in the destinies. I think for those people in particular, I think that's a cool entry point for them. I mean, you can't argue with free mm -hmm. and with that Game Pass Ultimate, you can don't you don't only get access to the Xbox 1 Series X, but you also get access to the PC version of it. That's so, huge. yeah, I mean, like, if you're even mildly curious about Destiny and you want to see what's going on, that's a pretty damn compelling entry point. And you know every season there is free and season pass content to chew on. So it's not like they'd be completely excluded from what's going on in Beyond Light. 
they just wouldn't get certain quests or so, like that that's that's still pretty cool that's that's pretty cool i mean of course you and i of course will be we won't have time to explain you know of course you know we won't have time to explain but you know for anybody else who's not too sure <laughs> they you know good you know good good on them good on them i think that's a i think that's pretty cool mm. yeah that's pretty cool yeah that's pretty cool i'm pretty excited about that so, You're on your own. Every kill, did we every do, death. um, so that aside, uh, one question. We, we did, we did contact mm -hmm. already, didn't we? We did contact, we we did did contact and we did the, yeah, we did, we did. Um, you know, I could potentially get down on some nightfall, nightfall. Gambit. maybe some gambit. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to do some reckoning. You need gambit. to do some reckoning and some gambit. Yeah. Yeah. Heathens. We could also do the prophecy. You know, we're both at level. Okay. Sure. It'd be great to have one more person, but I'm thinking. If you wouldn't mind show. coming to Hellas Basin with me for a second while we talk about the monarch, so I can get just ten kills. I just have to go to either Mind Lab Rasputin or Hellas View. And you know, you don't do this as often mm -hmm. as I do. This will be a fun a uh it'll be a fun trip oof. It'll be a fun trip down memory lane as we go through the 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 different environments from Warmind. <laughs> Cause sometimes I just run around and I explore. Okay. Like, you know, I was telling you on the phone. I was running around the plague lands and I actually went all the way down into site six. Because I remembered where it was. Site nice. 6 is, of course, the infamous um, Siva Vault, where the Iron Lords met their demise, and where you fight oh, uh, the older and fell winter's golems. They're Siva golems. Oh, God, yeah, cool. like you can go all the way back down there. And I just went back down there and I was like, wow. They put some grizzle on these environments. The Siva is living. The tendrils are moving. You know those little red lights that you were seeing all over the place? I don't know if I showed you the screenshot. Mm -hmm. Those little red lights are eyes. And the eyes follow you as you, as you run by them. The eyes actually follow you as you run by them. So it's like the Siva that's like down in that corridor is alive. Oh. It's actively watching you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's it's just like they. Yeah, I was like they better bring they had better bring the the plague lands back, and they better bring Site Six back because I feel like even canonically we've worked it back into the story just by revealing Felwinter's lie. Like that's the literally or, the origin point of Siva. So why wouldn't why would you not need to go back there? You know what I mean? Why would you not need to go back mm -hmm. there if Siva needs to be stopped again? We've already revealed what Felwinter's lie actually is, what all that means. So mm -hmm. I mean, why not bring it back? That would be a trip down memory lane. Yeah. It also justify it really well. That'd be like really give cool. Rasputin a chance to redeem himself. Let Felwinter's corpse achieve some good. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, why else reveal no. Rasputin to have been a dick if we're not going to have some kind of redemption arc, right? Right. I like right. I feel like if we are expected to trust Rasputin in any way, shape, or form, we should help him. Redeem. Yeah, and I'm telling you, his human, um, his Earth, what do you call them? Chambers have more dark history in them than any other part of him. Because, you know, mm -hmm. Deep Stone Crypt, the Siva Vault, Deep and Site Crypt. 6. The, uh, like, there's just too much that has gone down in, in Rasputin mm -hmm. on his Earth sites for there to not be some serious meat on the lower bones to chew on. Mm -hmm. But alright, you want me to uh, join you in, um, in Orbat? Would you like to send me an invite? Uh, yeah. There's just my my entire screen is scorch cannons. It's all scorch cannons, dear. It's all scorch cannons all the time. I just can't. <laughs> Team Scorch got me both of my weeklies this week. I'm really really getting antsy about it because 
ideally I need at least 4,700 bright dust to get everything I want to get. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need at least 4,700 bright dust to get everything I want to get, and I have at present 4,200. So I need I need 500 more bright dust, boo. And you get more bright weeklies. Crucible weeklies, oh, okay. the Vanguard weeklies, the Gambit weeklies all give bright dust. So that's at 200 apiece. 400, 400, 400. That's 1200. You know, 1200 max. Because the Gunsmith weeklies give you upgrade modules. So between Vanguard, Crucible, and Drifter, that's 400 potential bright dust for a total of 1200 per character. Potentially. So right now I've got 4,200. I need 500 more. But I am sitting on two Vanguard weeklies. Okay. They're strike based. So there's a chance. There's a, there's a chance. I could potentially get it. I could, I could still make it. Before reset. <laughs> According to the Eververse, I have 13 hours. <laughs> oh. Oh, you think so? Thanks, Eververse. <laughs> uh, join me. Join me. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. I'm... I will. I will. Um, when you're ready, I'll take I'm us to the, to the to the Hellas the Bacon. Gun. Okay. Um, yes, I did say Hellas Bacon. What of it? Hellas Bacon. Hellas Bacon. Yeah, you heard. Alice Bacon. Alright. Alright. I have to get a core from the spider. No problem, no problem, no problem. Slow on cores. I tell you, that's the best place to get them. I'll just uh, fine tune my inventory. Until you get back. What is this? Outlaw and explosive. Outlaw and explosive payload. That's interesting. Outlaw Demolitionist and Explosive Payload with a Masterwork for Range. And we've got Subsistence Explosive Payload and Moving Target with a Masterwork for Reload Speed. Nope! No. Nope, no. we're infusing. Nope, we're taking this one. Sorry, old Night's Watch. Uh, dear! The, Knights, the Night Watch I have, like I said, Explosive Payload and moving target, which is increased movement speed and target blah, 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 when you're aiming down the sights. Subsistences, kills, partially reload the magazine. Blah, 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 blah. But this new one I just got has explosive payload. Okay. Outlaw, precision <laughs> kills, greatly decrease reload. And demolitionist. Which is, you know, kills with this weapon, activate grenade energy. Activating your grenade instantly reloads the gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm keeping this one. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, we're keeping this one. I'm just going to infuse my old one into it. <laughs> ha ha! The cruel, cruel world of item infusion. Of Sorry, infusion. Old Night's Watch. The Old Night's Watch does have better range, but... Mm -hmm. This Night Watch has a bigger magazine. And the masterwork mm -hmm. for it is range anyway. So, asses to you. Asses. Asses, asses to you, then. Yes. <laughs> in, this, in the same cadence that Conquer said it, yes. Asses to you. <laughs> but all of that crab aside... We did a thing this weekend. We did. It's we actually did. the title of the episode. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we uh, acquired the Destiny cookbook. The Destiny cookbook. Mm -hmm. and, within mm -hmm. and within it, there were various there were lots recipes stuff. for lots of fun stuff. We but we settled on Le Monarch. Le Monarch. <laughs> I mean... What else? What else? Which what is, else is there? Uh, which is uh, similar 
to a cult monsieur. Really? Yeah. Um, themed Evil Levante found the recipe at the EDC. What? And she decided to adapt it. <laughs> she would go to Europe and just culturally appropriate a recipe. Mm -hmm. Colonize us. And uh, yeah, it's called the Monarch. It's uh, basically a sandwich with sourdough. Um, you make a sauce mm -hmm. that is basically would be uh, basically milk and uh, flour and nutmeg and uh, a little bit of salt, a little pepper. Uh, then you stack it all together with like cheese, like Gruyere cheese and ham. Mm -hmm. It was quite delicious. Quite delicious? Yes. Yes. And then, and then, we also encountered a recipe for uh, the tincture of Queensville. <laughs> Are you okay? I sneezed. Oh, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Which was, <laughs> which was quite interesting. It was a, uh, it's a uh, very, it's like blackberry tasty. <laughs> have you had a chance to drink it? I have. It actually. Um, what do you think of it? It reminds me a lot of uh, sorrel, which is a sorrel. Mm -hmm. um, sorrel is a. Uh, it's uh, it's a Caribbean uh, drink, so. Mm -hmm. Usually make it out of like cinnamon, orange, ginger. You know, it's it comes from a, literally a sorrel plant <laughs> in Jamaica. And even though we used like blackberries and we had our own like mixture of tea bags, I was surprised at how close it was. Except it's a little bit on the sweeter side, mm -hmm. but I really oh. enjoyed it. Oh, like yes. I threw it in, I threw it in a mason jar with some ice and then put it in the freezer for like two hours, pop that bad boy out, threw a blackberry in it. It was really good. I was, uh, I actually almost felt like I had, uh, had the actual tincture of Queens foil. Yes. Isn't that awesome? I felt like I could see the ascendant plane almost immediately after consumption. <laughs> it was quite the experience. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I started seeing the ascendant. Oh, really? Time. You too? You too? Yeah. Well then, I, I mean show-offs, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I'm ready that was a great... Here. Oh, you oh you joined already? Ah, there you are. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I thought it was a great... Uh, <laughs> it, it made me excited for the next uh, the next few recipes we end up chucking, it, uh, chucking through the book. The... The recipes were surprisingly, you know, uh, aside from some weird, some some curious wording, yeah. they were really easy yeah. to follow, and really easy, like as far as prep time and cooking, we're we're pretty. It, it went by pretty quickly, and I don't know about you, I enjoyed the heck out of it. I thought both of them are great. I love, I love the sandwich. I thought the tincture was great too. What did you think about it? I really liked it. I think was it was it sweet? Was it I crazy think. sweet for you? It was very uh, sweet. Yeah, I usually don't drink. Did you add more hot sweet. water? That was what they said. If it's if it's too sweet, I add did, more yeah. hot water. Yeah, if it's if it's too sweet, add more hot water. I don't know. I just wanted to have it the way the way it. the the way yeah. the uh have, yeah. the awoken intended. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Um. So I thought that was fun. I really liked that. And it was like the perfect drink for today because it's very hot today. I've, you know, as it was yesterday.
Um, so, yeah, I really liked it. I've never had anything quite like it. I kind of felt like it was going to be a little like, um, like hibiscus tea. Which is the only thing that I could like. That's in basically it to. what sorrel is. But it wasn't. It's, it's basically sorrel is basically a Jamaican hibiscus. <laughs> I see. Okay. <laughs> so you are on the right. You're definitely on the right track there. All right. Hey you. Hey you. Hey you. Hey you. Before you go hey. flying off in some crazy direction, and get distracted by a public event, I saw you. I saw you. And you can you start at level six, basically. Okay. Just contain yourself. I'm just letting you know where we're headed. Okay. We're headed yeah. in the direction of Ross. Ross. Yes. Yendi Ross. Thank you. I am honored. Okay. Yeah, but see, the difference is I get my hammer back after I throw it and catch it. <laughs> throw more grenades. <laughs> throw more grenades. Eh? Throw more grenades. <laughs> Mm hmm. Too, too slow! I mean, I wouldn't touch me. If you take, like, one look at my arms. Anywho, we are headed into the mind lab, so. Up, yeah. oh, she's distracted. Oh, there she goes. Oh, what? Okay, fine, fine. There will be plenty for you to shoot yeah. <laughs> in here, trust me. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right, so, what are you saying? You were saying? So, yeah, that was, so, yeah, that was interesting. I really enjoyed that. To be fair, right, we did choose some of the simpler recipes. I mean, it's great to say that the book does have simpler recipes. For You know, it doesn't immediately it does. start you into Gordon Ramsay you know, territory with these, you know, it's not daunting. At least there's some nice, like, hey, this takes no. about 45 minutes, you know, this isn't too bad. Right. Yeah, it's right. not too right. bad. And it tells you right on the top of the page, like, the amount of time it's gonna take, and how difficult the recipe is, so it's, like, easy, medium, Something hard. I wish Destiny's Quest there's did. Some... <laughs> oh, this'll take you a lifetime. <laughs> this will take an entire season to do. You're gonna, you're gonna die about. You're gonna die about forty. Right, times. like just you know, just give me, just give me, just let me know what the prep time is. Right, come on, come on, Bungie. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get the seraphite? Did you get the seraphite? Oh yes. Oh. Oh yes, I did. Alright, let's do it. Look, look, dear, it's Ras. Ooh, it's Ras. Hello, Raz. Seriously, he's just like beeps, <laughs> <laughs> beeps menacingly. <laughs> beeps menacingly. Okay, so did that Yotun fireball fly between the hive's legs? I, listen, I don't need that much detail in my hitboxes, okay? Damn, it flew in between his legs. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so irrationally angry about this. Nah, it's uh -huh. all good. It's all good. It's okay, weird okay. snow, snow covered Ooh. hole. Yep, dear. We're going back in. Back uh -oh. to the mind labs. It's, it's kind of why I'm sad we're gonna lose Mars. Like stuff like this. 
There's so much Mars that we don't remember. Do you remember the mind lab? And what's on the slab in the mind lab? Have you been over here in the mind? Where did you go? Did you fall? I, uh, I, uh, I ah, the law of Gabriel's. If there is a gap, she will fall into it. As she makes valiant attempt after attempt. No, wait, try right here. Try the, yeah, 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 yeah. And then go up here. Uh, 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 or, or you could do that. Yes, so as I was saying, Hello. the mind lab, and what's on the slab Ooh. in the mind lab. Ooh what's, Ooh, what's this? I don't know. It's just a computer. I think this is where he sent, this is like a, one of many places where he launches war mines. Mm -hmm. Just a small detour. I think this was, I think this little... But there's like a, a scannable thing that looks like it's part of an objective like thing. A... Yeah, no. It's because there's a quest that happens yeah. up here. But I don't know. They just never turn uh... that spot off. Like, there was a quest where you had to come up here. That's the only reason uh... I know this is here. <laughs> uh... But yes, okay. uh, further into the slab lab. Okay. okay. But, um... You've seen more of the cookbook than me. So... Do you, oh, you don't remember how to get out. Okay. You've seen more of the cookbook than me, yeah. so did you see anything that it was, like, crazy levels of... Like, what was yeah. the what was the longest yeah. prep time you saw in there? Because I saw, like... I think you told me there was ribs so, at one point. Yeah. Yeah, there's, like, a... There's, like, a... There's, like, a... There's, like, a rack of lamb, and there's, like, a... Clearly. Some kind of... Duck Clearly, the rack of lamb lesser really, is uh, Lord Shax inspired. Which, which I considered. Because, yeah, there's like uh, because rack of lamb. Yeah, there's rack of lamb, <clears throat> and then there's like this duck recipe, which is like. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can find the right duck. Now, actually. There's like pork tender. Pork tender. <laughs> which is actually not that hard. Oh, and of course. I know this but, is a given. I know you already thought of this, but of course, ramen noodles. Spicy noodles are part of the yep. recipe. Spicy noodles sure. made it in in honor of our, you know, our fallen comrade. Yeah, in honor of Cade. I feel like I hear pages yeah, turning. Like I think she stopped to read the book. Look at her. Really well. You know, where there's a bunch of recipes that are together because they're like kind of similar. So, for example, the um the spicy noodles are right next to like a like a sorry like the spicy ramen is right next to like a gyoza recipe that you can make you know we could theoretically make own gyoza and then spicy ramen have them together if you wanted to it would like take pretty much most of an afternoon <laughs> that sounds so dope though yeah but there's just uh i'm actually looking for it now because i forget what it's called it's like a it's like a, um hmm. what is it called duck poutine duck poutine yes yeah. the recipe of the whole is actually in like two separate pages Prep time alone is two hours. Cook time is seven hours. Uh, so that's something we're gonna have to like walk, like work towards. Seven hours. That's yeah. that sounds so awesome and so terrifying at the same time. Like, right? like I'm right? genuinely curious. But I feel like at the end of the day, it would be worth it. Like you'd be like, look at this duck. We yeah, made. yeah, yeah. What's the name? What's the do you do you have the book in front of you right now? Because I feel like you did a second ago. If you I do, do, what is the name of that recipe? Duck, duck poutine. Duck poutine. Is there a quote from Commander Zavala somewhere on that page? Because I feel like that's something he would name a mission. Operation Duck Poutine. It's in effect. Uh. 
Nah, you don't you don't feel like he would have duck poutine as like a <laughs> as like a potential it's mission it's name. It's actually like in a section that is very shack centric. Oh wow, really? Yeah. The finer yeah, side. And I think it's because I think it's because like Eva like so the book is structured in a really interesting way. It's like of course supposed to be like Eva's way of like giving you her recipes and also telling you like about her relationships with everyone in the game which i think is really cool um and you know there's like little asides about each character and how and the kind of foods they would enjoy and there's this section where she talks about shacks and how she enjoys watching crucible what? like it's like a well, yeah, like it's, an, it's like a spectator sport. She's like that old woman <laughs> in The Running Man who was like in the crowd and won the board game. She was like, I watch it with my family every <laughs> night. It's like, what, lady? You, you watch the, yeah. you watch this? Yeah. Good Lord. <laughs> I love it. I love, I love, I love stories that relate to how Eva Levante became Tower Mom, you know. Why, when she's the definitely. Cabal attacked? She's definitely. Yeah, I mean, when the Cabal attacked during the Red War, you know, one of the directives was protect Eva Levante at all costs. Mm hmm. Yeah. It yeah. just was, dear. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It just was. That, that was one of the, that was one of the prime directives, protect Eva Levante at all costs. I agree. Yeah. She has to be. You know, we need to keep her safe. Who else is gonna make us cookies? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right, Boo. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's probably the hardest recipe in the book. Uh oh. Wait, wait, ah! where'd you go? Which way do we go now? Oh, it says activate the system. What is this? What have you done? Mercury to the outer planets. Clovis Bridge hmm? provides the most robust communication network in the Oh, wow. Our yeah. network watches over us all. Would you like to know more? Uh, okay. Hmm. I, I would, actually. Yeah, right. Communication and logistics grew increasingly difficult along the outer tracks. Hmm. The pioneers of the outer frontier built makeshift transmission relays, but these were unreliable and prone to failure. The development of the War Mind program compelled a need for a unified circumstellar communication network. So Clovis Bray seized an opportunity to kill two birds with one exceedingly large stone. Really? Thousands of war satellites mm. deployed them throughout the system. These war sats link with the war mines designated Rasputin and with each other, forming an integrated defense and comms system. Each satellite is equipped with a state-of-the-art kinetic superconductor that shields it from Kessler. Ah, and hmm, indeed. Has an orbital light spanning hundreds of years. No matter what threats lie in store for us, rest assured that Rasputin and the Clovis wow, that's cool. Warsats will never that cease to know. a vigilant watch. That's a nice the little planet. thing with Bob. Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, that's true. I do have the emote with the chair. I feel like we should have more, like, emote options. You know, at a, at a click. Hmm. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that's a nice, that's a nice remix. <laughs> Everything's on my mind. <laughs> Up here? Okay. Ooh. Oh my god, pyramid. Like, what is it doing there? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Sorry. I do need, I do need to go from things with sniper rifles. So. Ah. Mm hmm No. Yeah, that gives you... Yes! Totally agreed. Right. Which is why... Which is why... Right, that's... And also, it seems that, um... Other races in the game are going to have darkness power. Yeah. But. <laughs> well, I don't know. Rasputin is freaking huge. Okay. Wow. Crazy. Well, you know, if you if you've been keeping up with some of the lore, it sounds like Savatun is not really she's not really on the darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly right. Yep. Well, I think Oryx um, 
really revel. Re yeah, Oryx really reveled in, you know, being one with the darkness. You know, he like communed with the beast, and you know, he really had. He was quite loyal, and if you. He did. He totally did. He totally, you know, he, he ditched his former gender identity and became orcs. Um, but what was I going to say? Yeah, so like, if you remember reading some of that darkness lore, the darkness refers to Oryx as my man, my man. Yeah. But Sabathun is different. Sabathun is, uh... Well... She's more cunning. You know, she's... That's, that's always been her thing. And that's what... Um, what's her face? Eris says about her. She's like, well, you know, she's not just gonna come out here and smack you in the face. She's gonna trick you. Yeah, like it's not her way to confront you directly. Kind of just kind of screwing yourself over. <laughs> oh, I love it when they do it that way. Like what? I didn't tell you to do that. You're the one that was singing about moon cheese. That's what she did. Uh, with the Shattered Throne. Or really? With the Dreaming Oh, City like Riven's Wish? Is basically Sabathun getting one over on us, like, real hard. <laughs> yeah, because didn't she compel Riven to wish for that? Are you still there? Yes, yes, oh. yes, woman. I was letting you talk. Okay. Because oh, wasn't okay, she, okay. I was going to say, because, you know, she was the one to have instigated Riven's final wish, was to, which was to lock the Dreaming City into that three-week pattern. Um, like yeah. she compelled yeah. Riven to make that wish. Like that was all her setup. That yeah, that was the setup, for sure. She knew that we were gonna go in there and uh, kill Riven, but in doing so, we went in there wishing that she was dead. We wanted something, and in doing so. We allowed Cheeks. Riven. This way. Do what? You're doing random things again. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. I mean, so, I got my doing finger. Doing so, we kind of allowed Riven. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And doing so allowed Riven to make a wish herself. Yeah, like her final, yeah, like her final wish. Which. Which since she had been taken was to um, continue this curse. Mm. Ooh. Rasputin. Oh, jeez. Hey, Rasputin. What happened? Did you get DDoS? <laughs> he got DDoSed on IO. And then the last times we'll be able to come in here. Look at all the war sets. Yeah. Uh. uh... I know this is all random. Yeah. But it's all random. Okay, never mind. That was about to be like, <gasps> can we see who's accessing Rasputin right now? <laughs> nah. It would all say D R K N S S. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. oh! You're right. 
Thank you. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is the uh, this is the mind lab. This is Rasputin himself, dear. The main, uh, the central, the literal thing. central processing unit of Rasputin. It's crazy. Yep, this is where Osiris came to question him, where Warmind's campaign ended. Yep. With a shotgun. With a shotgun. Like, I don't understand. Like, that. he was, go he was gonna sh- Because he was shotgun. gonna shoot Rasputin right in his b b hologram, whatever this is. Ras- What the- ah! Wow, you can't even- he, he didn't even let me fly forward. I immediately got pushed back by some cosmic force. See, that's why Osiris brought a shotgun. Mm -hmm. so what's he going to shoot, though? He's going to shoot that combo right there? Because, you know, a shotgun's a close range No, he's weapon. going to shoot that light bulb. You know, so he needed a lot of chances, so he brought the shotgun for the spread. You know, he figured at least one mm. pellet would hit. The Listen! Osiris has been in the infinite forest so long, his brain is probably scrambled. <laughs> like egg. Him and his echoes have been divvying up the pie for too long. <laughs> Not sure how much Osiris has going on up there. He's like the Doc Brown of Destiny. Yes, he's the guy in the sundial going Great Scott every few expansions. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's for a fact. But no, I'm sure Osiris didn't really think he was gonna come in here with a shotgun and get Osiris to do anything. <laughs> let him in that far. I mean, it, Rasputin could have stopped him at any point. Like, look at look at everything that's we had true, to go through just true. to get here. I mean, Rasputin could have stopped him, I guess, if he wanted to, to be honest. He could have just dropped the war sat on him. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I love that that was uh, Rasputin's idea of conflict resolution back in the day. Just, just drop a war sat on it. Thank you, Rasputin. Thank you, Rasputin. Yeah. Thank you, Son running away from home? Yeah, yeah drop a war sat on him. <laughs> fallen outside, <laughs> fallen outside my main processing unit. Ah, just drop a war set on him. Guardians minding their own business while patrolling the Cosmodrome. Ah, drop a war set on him. It's just what he does, or what he used to do anyway. So it's like, why not? You know, you could have dropped the war set on Osiris. I'm sure Osiris already looked into the infinite forest and saw all of the alternate timelines. Where he tried, where he went there with the intent to shoot Rasputin and was stopped like immediately. So that time he had to go without any intent to. Uh, wow. And there she goes. Wow. There's wow. There's literally like an invisible wall there. Oh, you didn't believe me about the cosmic force that stopped me from flying into Rasputin's eyeball? I tried to tell you. Mm. Who are you putting salt? Man? Get your salt away, <laughs> lady. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go and do a nightfall. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you for this. this wonderful trip down memory lane. Take one last look at Rasputin. Oh wait, we should take a picture. Oh, wait, take a picture Goodbye, Ras. Oh bad. Are you gonna take a selfie with Rasputin? Yes. Okay. Yes. Wait, no, that's the wow. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, whoops. Okay, sorry. Oh, whoops. Okay, sorry. My bad. I messed it up. <laughs> Yo, are you... What are you... So much salt. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> I wanna see. Alright, give one more shoulder salute to my main man, Rasputin. Bye, 
there with Putin. For three years of in-game rendered service. I give you the shoulder salute. <laughs> It's not tears. There's some water dripped on my helmet. Yeah! Oh. Oh. Okay, what happened? Yeah, the, the, I, I slipped on the water that, you know, got on my helmet. Uh -huh. I fell. Mm -hmm. my, my back is broken. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, I broke my back. Are you ready to do some strikes? I see. Yeah. Alright, let's ordeal it up. Oh god. What in the emblem is that? Woman, what's going on with your emblem? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I forget where I got it. I think I got it. It's got pyramids on it. Yeah, it's got pyramids on it. How did you do this? Uh, Madness. I don't Sparta. Remember. Secrets only the cheeks know. Madness and Sparta. Madness and Sparta. Yes, they are the secrets that only the cheeks know. <laughs> I've heard of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Well, all right, all right, all right. You don't, you don't have to share your secret with us, Miss. I guess I'll just equip really the appropriate. I really don't remember. Um, unstoppable weaponry. No, wait, wait, wait. Unstoppable and overload. Those are the things. Do I have overload for hand cannons? I think I do, actually. No, I have unstoppable for hand cannons. Well, wow, balls. Okay, so unstoppable hand cannon and I guess overload bow. Yeah, that'll that'll have to do. Mm. Yep. All right, that'll do it. Overload bow. Overload bow, my dear. Overload bow. For those of you that are in the know, overload bow is the way to go. So, I have this, uh... Dang it. Oh. Oh. This game just gypped me. We're approaching the temple oh. oh. Give me my weapon, you game. I tried to transfer myself a weapon, and it immediately stuck the weapon in my vault. Because monkeys! Work it, Bungie. No, it's okay. I'm good. Okay. Okay. I'm just want to. <laughs> I just wanted to bring along the uh, the air apparent for the more for the more prickly okay. spots. Like when the ads are just adding way too much. This actually works out pretty well because I have to kill Taken for one of these uh, weeklies. So. I have to kill things with sniper rifles. Sniper rifles. Well, please do calibrate to uh, void for some of these tokens. It looks like some of these taken have void shields. I got it. I got Fassy. it. Fassy. So, who do you think is getting stasis first? Since stasis is apparently just going to be going around at a party, like, you know. You're at a party, someone's passing around the experimental darkness powers. <laughs> well, well, I think the, the fallen are definitely going to be first Re in Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Europa, yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which brings up another interesting conversation, you know, you can have for later. Because if there's fallen with darkness powers, that means there's a house dark. Yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, exactly if you remember true. Mithrax, the uh, fallen that gives us the tip about zero hour, uh, he's from House Light. And if uh, we've got House Dark, we're fallen with darkness powers. Something tells me uh, we're about to see the first light wielding fallen. Something tells me that's about to happen. Uh, I mean, Mithrax is of House Light. He is our ally. Yeah. And there's a House Dark. Uh, that's... Uh. Sure you can. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. That's going to be cool, it, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it, it's uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely the Fallen, but who after the Fallen is what I'm saying, because the Fallen are a given. We saw them after in the trailer the already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, who after the Fallen mm -hmm. do you think is, is going to get it next? Then I would say the Cabal. Then I would say the, the Cabal. cabal? Yeah, the cabal. yeah, the Cabal. Why the Cabal? Because they're down and out. Well, nobody told them to try and get the light. I mean... <laughs> then they tried to chuck the Almighty at us. And... That didn't work. It, it did not. So you think... That having... Lost... Having... Having basically... You know put it all on the line to try and gain the light and having failed you know most of the red uh, pretty much the cabal that we see in destiny 2 are mostly red legion because yeah. if you play destiny yeah. 1 there's like the dust giants there's and all like, these uh, and the, the sky burners the yeah there's burners. other factions of cabal yeah. that are still like chilling out there so mm -hmm. to say like we pretty much decimated the red legion and obliterated Cabal take over yeah. morale. Even on the air apparent, there's a very ambitious. <laughs> there's a very ambitious. Um, who's it? I think she's the daughter of. Yeah, she's. Callus. Yeah, she's daughter. the daughter of Callus. So, yeah. there may be some. Yeah. Hey, maybe, 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 maybe her. Maybe whoever her faction of Cabal yeah. is will be the ones that you know. Like, where Gaul failed to take the light, I will wield the dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stasis Cabal. And they already have, like, Scion, you know, magical entities like the Scions. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if the Vex would, personally. I was leaning either towards Hive or potentially mm -hmm. the Vex, only because... The Vex must be Vexed, right? Yeah. They've tried to create yeah. light and have kind of failed in the past. They tried to create light. They tried to create Oryx. They've, they've tried to replicate all of these powers and have failed every mm -hmm. single time. So wouldn't it be interesting if they'd finally got the powers that they've been seeking via a stasis update? Because the Vex have always been trying. Get knocked off the map. Oh, I'll get you. The Vex have always been trying. I mean, but they're not really... I think the darkness tells us that... What the fuck? They're not... Did you get knocked I off did. the stage just randomly? Yeah, that's what just happened to me. That's what I get for having the air apparent out. If I had my sword, I would have made it back. It's all good. We got this. But go on. Okay. The Cabal are not really of the dark. Like, they... There's the whole... I think there's the whole... I never said the Cabal were of the dark. I was oh, just talking about the Vex a second yeah. ago. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They've been trying yeah, to create yeah, light. They failed. They tried to create darkness. They kind of failed. Like, Oryx bodied, Oryx bodied them. Because they ended up accidentally creating Orash. Yeah. 
Like they yeah. went from the root of his programming and was just like, oh, well, I guess this is who he is. And Horrocks is like, nope. That's my dead name, bro. This isn't right. And then he got canceled. And then, and then they got canceled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cora laid transform. But that's what she did. Mm -mm. She created uh, a yep. rush. It was not or Nope, she got like the base version uh, I after think all the updates. Like before all the updates, she got yeah. the base version. <laughs> before all the updates. <laughs> yep. Oh shit, no. whoops. You're Thank welcome. You. Wow, over the blight. Wow. It killed me by hitting me, and then I flew over the blight, and as I was flying over the blight, I was taking damage from it until I died. Wow. That's just diabolical. Like, they doing stage fatalities now? What did I miss? <laughs> Bungie, you sneaking in updates? You st <laughs> Is this what you meant? <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like they've been doing that for a while. They've just been sneaking Just updates. sneaking in the, the, the stage fatality update? Okay. Oh, god damn it. That's alright, I'll respawn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come and save you. Somebody save Gabriel. Oh, jeez. You know what? All in all, you're just, uh, another. Okay. What? what? It was. I put up a defensive wall to protect you. I know, but they smacked me off the stage. They're doing that a lot. I feel like... <laughs> Let me stop wearing the Synthoseps as a joke. Clearly, no one, is, no one is commenting or remarking on the tendrils of SIVA coming out of my arms. So let me just switch my gauntlets back. There's nobody just going to say nothing I about my respond. tendrils. You're just going to act like I ain't got SIVA like tendrils. Nah, don't tell me now that I took the tendrils off. Just, just don't say nothing about my tendrils. I put those Siva on my arms for you. Just gonna make me feel self-conscious about my Siva tendrils. Didn't mean to make you feel I'm sure you didn't, but still, I feel like I have inherited a potentially deadly and malicious substance into my system for clout, and it did not work. <laughs> Feeling some type of way about that right now. Oh, that's unstoppable. Oof. Uh, give me a sec. I got a shot for it. Pop. All right, kill it. Okay. Woo. Okay. You can shoot through this barrier because of the exotic I've got. So if anybody wants to hit that shrieker mm -hmm. with some good protection. Oh, my gosh. My face. Why didn't you throw down a rift, you person? Alright, all right, we're all good. All right. It's all good. It's all good. You will get the rift instinct. Rift. I do love this exotic, though. It makes you able to shoot through my barrier. That's... Girl, you silly. I love you. Oh, no, I missed with the hammer. But at least now I know I can throw it through the barrier. Hey. Hey, nice. Hey, nice. Yeah, this exotic is dope. Like, the barrier has less integrity, but you can shoot through it, which I think is a, it's a pretty good trade-off. Mm -hmm. It makes me want to use the barricade more often. Oh, and in PvP, it's just fucking diabolical. It's so mean. Like, they can shoot you through it, but you can't shoot them. It's just... This feels like a dick move. <laughs> oh, that looks unstoppable. Boop. Oh, God. Weird. Oh, so how's it going back there? Oh, sorry. I was, uh, I was sniping. 
You, you didn't hear about the, uns the unstoppable ogre? That was unstoppably ogring? Uh, I kind of heard about it, yeah. Here it's all the rage? I heard a little bit about it. You know, I thought, you know, sometimes you're too cool for school, dude. You get into all the new unstoppable enemies to call I do. Hey, hey, listen, listen. But when I call them out, okay, you know you can't snipe <laughs> something unstoppably, right? <laughs> no, that's not the way it works. Okay. All right, so I think the real world one will be easier to take out, but it's it's, it's really just conjecture. Mm. It's just hard, no matter what. Somebody out here getting messages? Are we? My batteries are low. What? I got a message from Xbox Live the other day. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, really? because I ah, because I bought Super Hot. They mm -hmm. um I think Super Hot has like a new expansion or like a semi sequel out, like a 1.5 mm -hmm. version out. Yeah, and they gave me the uh the expansion mm -hmm. for free because I had oh. patronized Super oh, Hot fun. in the past. Yes. Yeah. Which means that we should also have it on PS4. Hopefully, if they did the same thing on PS4. Because that's where we want to play Super Hot. Because Super Hot is a VR game also. Uh, oh, yeah. Even though it's in Fork, you know, on the Xbox One, it is in VR on the PS4. Where we conveniently have a helmet that can put the Baker family directly in your home to terrifying effect. Dear, the Marguerite fight is such a mind fook with the headset on. I think that's as far as I've gotten so far. Yeah, like I'm up to the Evelyn part, I think. Like I just finished fighting Marguerite. Mm -hmm. Shit is a bug out, dear. Because Marguerite climbs on the walls and on the ceilings and just she pops what? through. Like those parts of the ge the parts of the game that we saw when I was playing it like crazy on the Xbox One where Margaret mm -hmm. Pops through the window and grabs you by the leg. Do you know what that looks like in VR? It looks like she's actually coming through the window and grabbing you by the leg. That's the answer. That's the answer to the question. It, 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 it's it's freaky. It's yeah. It's extremely freaky. Uh, play, that game in VR is truly something else. Like it's no hyperbole when I say that. Resident Evil 7 was definitely a high watermark for VR and a great selling point for the technology. It makes a really good case for VR being a competent medium to deliver like a visceral affecting gameplay experience. I actually wouldn't mind playing more games like that. Doom VFR is also really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For, it really works for first-person shooters, especially if they they have the wherewithal enough to leave the movement controls to your controller and leave the aiming to the movement of your head, which is the most intuitive thing I've ever done. I can I can I played Doom like this and I've played Resident Evil like this, and I can tell you I think that's the best method. It does not induce the next strain you would imagine because looking to aim is just a slight head adjustment. It's not like you're just head banging for an hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you notice the way you move your analog stick when you're playing Destiny is very deliberate, but most of the time you're looking in one direction. You're not constantly moving the analog stick all over the place. You're usually looking or aiming or focusing or running. Your head's usually pretty straight. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. the same in VR. Your head is pointed in one direction most of the time. So it's not like you know you're you're doing like Wayne's World, Bohemian Rhapsody in the car while doing a raid in Destiny. I see. Sorry, you're, you're in the real world. I'm coming back for you now, though. No, oh, no, okay. I was trying to revive you, and it transported me into the Ascendant <laughs> realm. Uh. Stop that. I shot him in the face with an unstoppable shot. I'm like, stop roaring at me. What are you doing? Wait, we're still getting cast away? Is the Taken version still alive? 
Oh wow, it's... it is. Yeah, it's so low. I thought we killed it. Oh, it's it's almost dead. It's, the, it's that elusive, that elusive state, almost dead. <laughs> like when you're playing a fighting game and they look like they don't have any life left in their life bar, and you're like, really? Why are they still alive? I've seen Sonic Fox come back from life like life leads like this. Stop it. Just take all of the life out of his life yeah. bar. Why is he still alive? What are you doing? Kill him. This method of coming back from a win was so pervasive and so very Sonic Fox that NetherRealm literally put an achievement in MK11 for... No, I'm sorry. Mortal Kombat X for making a comeback like that. It's, it's called the Sonic Fox. I, I, I don't know. I don't remember what it's called, but it's literally an achievement for... Like, coming back and winning two rounds after nearly being dead. And of course, on stream, Sonic Fox got that achievement. Because of, co of course he did. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He got it at a tournament where it hadn't been unlocked on that machine yet. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, God. I was like yep. Yeah, like, yep. It, well... That is his. That is his thing. Just making those critical reads, and then when he's finally downloaded them, it's like, oh, well, time for him to win two rounds straight. And all you had to do was one more combo. You had to do one more combo, and you would have had it. And then he came back, and won two rounds straight. And now you are on YouTube. <laughs> Oh, I infiltration saying download complete it was so funny. Download complete. It's so funny, in fact, that Bungie named one of the missions in Rise of Iron <laughs> download complete. I remember that. Never say that Bungie is not on top of it, that their meme game is not unquestionably strong. Meme game quite strong. Woo! Meme game strong. Oh wow, you can throw grenades through this thing. That's dope. Ah, goddammit. Are you gonna just... I'm sorry, I'm having a fist fight with a Taken. It's not going too well. Ow. I hate it when that happens. Like, this was a really long fight, though. <laughs> he got you too? How? I don't know. I don't know. So you didn't think to yourself, Wow, he killed Lucian. I better tread lightly. You were like, oh, let me just, let me just shoot in a straight line and make a mockery of Lucy and struggle. Like, you didn't see me sliding between this guy's legs and hitting him. And then jumping all the way back and hitting him. Oh, crap. I, had to, I practically had to be Neo to do that much damage. These enemies are not playing with us for some reason. They need nerfs. They've been hanging out with warlocks too long. Uh, my controller died. Hold on. All right, well. I revived you. I will now place walls in front of you to protect you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I have, okay, I have returned. <laughs> you know you could have shot. You could have shot through that wall. I'm telling you, these these barriers, these barriers, you can shoot through. Nice. Nice. Ooh, the Ascendant Plane. I do like the Ascendant Plane. I would love to go to Titan and see what the Ascendant Plane looks like there. Like, can we open an Ascendant Portal? Yeah. So, can Titan look like the Ascendant Plane like the last week that Titan exists? Like, all the planets that are about to be blighted, can they look like the Ascendant Plane before they get deleted? Oh. I feel oh. like that would be a... Well, I just broke my leg. Oh, no. Did you hit something on the way down? Yeah. <laughs> it's the worst. If you have a sword out, I've you know, 
very rarely, but been able to correct <laughs> any any minor <laughs> any minor uh, bounces while careening to the bottom of that abyss. It's a very fun jump. I had a ride. The Dreaming City is so beautiful, though. Like, I could definitely see... Oh, are you loving all these, like, rare like, crystals and... Nerf. Guardian down. <laughs> Guardian down! What the F is going on with my stream deck? None of my buttons are popping up. Uh -oh. I'm tasting codeine when I burp. <laughs> just, just don't know what's going on right now, dear. I'm perplexed, okay? <laughs> oh, God. I <laughs> <laughs> taste codeine when I burp. Oh man, I'm gonna. I, I tried to make it through the whole album. I, I, I you didn't. Did? I didn't make it past. I didn't make it past "Glow Up," which is just. Well, that's admirable well, that, well, that you even attempted that. I just. Because <laughs> after that that one song, I was like, no. What? After "Glow Up," you were like, no. No. But Oh, you thought you thought Anthony was just being unreasonably mean. No, I believe No, I believe him. That's why That's why Like did you love that scene when he's just got the laptop on his shoulders and he's just playing the music? <laughs> Rumor has it my sides are still in orbit. After the first time. Your yeah, rumor side. has it my sides are still in orbit after the <laughs> first time I saw that. You're still, like, floating around out there. That's what the rumors are saying. Yeah. Wait, is that an unstoppable? Oh, it's uh, overload. I got you. Oh, and it went inside of the bubble. Y'all copying ass. I'm going to hit you with a bow in the face. Now look at you. Okay, m m m clearly this this person is trying to get their wither horde catalyst. <laughs> clearly they're trying to masterwork their wither horde. I'm just seeing blights everywhere. Revenge of the blights. Speaking of, speaking of, have you any closer to uh, obtaining your wither horde catalyst? Did you get your 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 grenade? Your, did you get your crucible kills in grenade? Oh, she's dead. Oh, there you are. Yeah. I keep landing. We're here to save her. Um, how did you disappear and reappear? You did. I don't know what just happened. I didn't. I know. It joining allied you since you were already dead. I guess it just teleported your ghost over. But for me, like you just vanished, oh, okay. and I was just standing there like, oh. Well, ber herber herberder, 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 herder, herder, herder. All right, cut this out, all of you. You're all taken, and you got no nieces. <laughs> and you got no nieces. Got no nieces. All right, I think she needs a third one. Let me know when y'all are in position. I'll chuck the third. Like, let me know when y'all are in. Prime DPS position, and I'll chuck the third one for you. We're here. Oh, so you're in prime DPS position? Yeah, we're here. Yeah, All right. we're here. Oh, there she goes. Nope, she's not coming back from that one. Oh, she just nope, nope, she's gone. Nope, and guardian down. Come on. All right, so I'll revive you, and then we can go to Sadia's damage phase. All right, I'm going to revive you right now. Okay. 
Wow, she's just. Ah! I yeah, just got hit with too. the curve. Ah! I mean, she did. She knocked me from like one of these little islands to the other. I know y'all like to think I'm always joking, but you know, she really did hit me with the curve. <laughs> oh, Sadia was behind me. Nope. Running. A hundred miles and running. Where do I? She's on the middle platform, like where we spawned into the area. Oh. Man, comb oh, your okay. beard, Sadia. Hold your weave. I'm not trying to hear that. <laughs> comb your weave. I am not trying to hear that right now. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll grab the first uh, bomb. Watch out. I think this is the phase okay. where all the crazy-ass debris starts floating. Mm -hmm. Yup, it's the debris. Ah! <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. You missed it. That was hilarious. <laughs> oh, I got hit by debris, but I used the uh, melee to... I used the melee to recover. It was quite clutch. Right, I'm going to put up one of these walls. All in all, you're just, uh... What? No! God damn. Oh, I got flanked and no one told me. I thought there was somebody behind me that could have told me that, but... Unfortunately, I was not... Unfortunately, the curse was uh, taking yeah. a hold well. on my poor partner. And, uh, she had to commit to the, uh... Well... One person from her clan every day must fall into a um, void of indeterminate origin. That's how they pay tribute to oh, their really? worms. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, wow, I actually hit her from all the way back here. Let's go. All right, y'all ready? I think this is the third yeah. one. You want to run in closer? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, I'm going to chuck it. I'm coming for you. Come on, Sadia. And now I'm running. Good gravy. I don't think anyone should be this high. Insanity. Well, it's a good thing this gun has dragonfly on it. But it's not doing anything. Bless the, the Wither hell? Horde user. Bless him. Putting out those blights. Good for you. I'm coming for you. Mm. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you. She's still in damage. Uh, we still shoot her. I'm shooting her in the head for like 11k. 11k for a for a precision shot. Okay, that's a. No, that's not bad numbers. Oh, yeah. I think she escaped through her portal. Thank goodness it's a checkpoint. Oh, man. Dying at the first part is just not it. I'm glad we made it. Alright, people. Y'all just over there dying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Listen, y'all, don't make me turn this portal around, okay? Oh, great. More debris. Uh, oh, jeez. Even more. Oh god, the ascendant plane. <laughs> She's just like She's just like over there flipping out, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. That's an Overload Conqueror. I just staggered it. Awesome. 
Good gravy. Yeah. Hey, uh... Just all this screeching, man. Yeah. I'm getting those <laughs> reverse. I'm. <laughs> And now that the curse has consumed us all. <laughs> now that the curse has finally consumed us all. It should no longer bother us. On tonight's episode of the Expert Playlist. Hopefully we have sated. <laughs> her worms. <laughs> Nobody told you to get the worm shell. You're like, oh, yeah, it's this festival of the lost, and it's just it's just a novelty. And I said, don't get the worm shell. And I was like, nope, you wanted to get the worm shell, and now look what happened. Guardian down is what happened. Exactly. Thank you, ghost. Ow. Yeah, seriously, with that BS. All right. Like running wild. Just running wild in these streets. Just running wild. Just running wild. Ah! No! Ah! Oh, jeez. Are you dead? Okay, no, do stay alive. Um, I'm good for a revive. Our friend, not so much. I can run forward and get him, though. Some of these things. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Yep. From downtown, from downtown. Mm-hmm. Baka! Ooh. Come on, dear. Ooh, you can make it. Nice. The debris is coming now! I made it. Oh, you, I made oh, it. oh, I see. You taking the alternate route. I see. Okay. I see you. Which alternate route? You, 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 you totally <laughs> took the alternate route. That's dope. Anyway. <laughs> I believe... I have arrived. Oh, great. She's sitting right by the relic. Just the way I like it. Uh, no! Oh. No! <laughs> ah! Ideal situ- Oh. Oh. <laughs> she hit me off the... Well, like I said, she was sitting right next to the relic, so she basically bopped me off the, <laughs> off the platform. I'm this close to re-equipping my sword. Oh, wow, I have bad omens? You gave me bad omens. That's pretty dope. Not a very good... I would say not a very good roll of bad omens. I don't want to sound like an elitist, but it's not a very good roll. No. Not a bad omens there. Not feeling this one. No. Actually. <laughs> Surprisingly, I'm not feeling it. No, sir. I don't like it. <laughs> Shoot through my barrier for extra damages. Seriously. <laughs> Oh, I'm alive. I'm alive, I'm alive. Oh, no. oh. Wow. I just... I just got a bounty called... Um, Fight Back the Darkness, right? It's a Vanguard mm -hmm. bounty. 
But I will let you know that the one thing I was... Nope! Sword! Uh! Do something! Baka... Did you see that? Did, did you see that? Did you see how I... Did you, did you, yeah, did, I did see did. that. Ah! And that's why you should equip your sword. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dear. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, she just rolled up. Oh, did she just like roast you? She just rolled up on me and smacked me all the way across the floor. Whoa! I thought she was dead. I thought I actually killed her. I did not. You did not. <laughs> I did not. It's also bullshit and not true. I'm yeah, I'm trying to it's I'm trying to make my way over to you, but these enemies are just like every step of the way. So if you can come back, yeah, do that, do that, do that. Do that, do that, and do do that, that, that. I as don't Q -tip understand says. why these enemies keep knocking me off the stage. I really can't. Clearly, you are backlogged on tribute. Yo, Sadie is still not dead. I'm filling out a change.org petition right now. No, I made it. <laughs> Even with no sword ammo. All right. Uh, okay, she's gotta be dying right now. Okay, thank you, thank you for dying. Nope, nope, she can't. All right, enhancement core. One. Ooh, cool. How about some prisms, Luke Smith? Hey, Luke Smith, how about some prisms? <laughs> Keep giving me. What am I gonna do with these cores? <laughs> Luke Smith, what you doing? I'm just saying. Uh, just stop saying. I don't know. I don't know. All this rigmarole. <laughs> Get it down. <laughs> oh, you weren't watching any of that, were you? Uh... Nope. Okay, so... Uh... So, um, the thing I was saying was the, um... Part of the bounty was to kill 150 Taken. And I had zero when we entered this strike. Uh... Oh, and how many did you kill? I completed the bounty. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I'm saying, geez, we were. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of tokens. That's good because uh, it's, it's more bright dust for me and my my family. <laughs> me and my family. <laughs> yes. Mm. Okay, and I've got my collect and conquer. Uh, bounty popping with the drifter. So if you still want to do some, actually, if you still want to do some reckoning, I'm down. I'll actually. Uh, yeah, I am. I can. Uh, I I got the, I got the bounty with my warlock. So now we can do tier three, mm -hmm. no matter what. Like no matter what race, oh, okay, no matter what class I am, we can do um tier three reckoning now. I have mm -hmm. powerful synthesizers for everybody. I think I'm gonna make my warlock a reaper. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I'm gonna go towards the uh the reaping. I think I'm gonna go for the reaping deer. Mm. That's how I'm feeling. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. So if you wanna do reckoning, I will switch to my Vorlock. If you're down. I would like to do some reckoning. If you want Yeah, okay. So let's uh let's do that right now then. Yeah. Let me uh I'll give you the 
Earn points by defeating combatants with blah blah blah. Uh, I'll do that later. I'm not stressing out right now. Because we can do more things with other entities. But yeah, I'll give you the party team leader and I'll switch right now and we can uh we can we can we can wreck it! You know. We can do all of we can, yeah, we can do all of that. Okay, and yeah, yeah, yeah. As it stands, I am fifty. I need fifteen hundred bright dust. I have twelve hundred and six. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. We're, we're getting close. there. We're getting there, dear. Because I, I like the two emotes, like the pumping up and the fluid dance emotes. But I just I really like that mm -hmm. dire ahamkara. I really like that Dire Ahamkara um, ornament. I think it's cool. And while I'm yeah. doing that... Yeah, that's really um, cool. You can launch into another uh, item of the rundown. While I'm, okay. while I'm, while I'm flipping okay. back and forth, I'm going to switch right now. Okay, well, I guess uh, the next thing um, is... So, did you catch the um, Halo Infinite uh, gameplay trailer? Um, someone made a video pointing out that it seems like the gameplay is quite similar to Destiny. That's interesting. That is not what I. That's not what I was expecting you to say at all. And um, for uh, many reasons, the Halo Infinite trailer has been pretty controversial in the gaming circles. But not necessarily for that reason. Mm -hmm. It was actually because people were actually underwhelmed by the presentation, uh, visually, somewhat gameplay-wise. You know, while there's praise to be had mm -hmm. for the large environments and the seeming, you know, return to simplicity and design, pretty ambitious technologies on board. Mm -hmm. But yeah, people were actually kind of underwhelmed by the gameplay and especially by the graphics of the. Um... I totally. I've never heard that somebody thought it looked and played a lot like Destiny, but I mean, I feel like that's a compliment, if anything, because Bungie are the original designers of Halo. And Halo, yeah. I mean, and right. Destiny is basically space Halo, like in feel and in gunplay. Like, so mm -hmm. if the game looks like Destiny to somebody, I think that is a huge compliment in the strides that 343 has made in how the game looks and feels. Because, oh my god, and I think we said this. Yeah. Halo 5 does not feel like mm -hmm. Halo at all. It feels like an amalgam of a bunch of ideas that don't exactly coalesce. Mm -hmm. Like, you've got ground pounds and slides and air boosts and dunks and all of this crazy shit, and the game doesn't ask you to do any of it. It's like, but I'm still Halo. Yeah. So, I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like that's a compliment, because <laughs> Halo 5 had no identity, and Halo 4 was trying its best, actually. I, I have I actually don't have any I hate really I actually like don't Halo have any hate for Halo actually. 4. I actually like it a lot. I think Bear McCreary yeah. also killed it on the soundtrack. I like... Yes. I don't know I don't know how people felt about Halo 4 when it came out, but I can tell you that when I played it, I People enjoyed actually it. enjoyed it. It was actually a sign that uh 343 had the right idea. Some people criticized the gunplay, the redone sound effects and the way the multiplayer felt, mm -hmm. but everybody pretty much unanimously praised the story. You know, and thought the, the send-off for Cortana and what it did for Master Chief's story. People actually found the story very compelling. I felt that way too, which is partly why Halo 5 was so jarring. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was like, what? Yeah, like everything about it. <laughs> Everything about it, it was like, wait, what? <laughs> Luke Cage was in there, and the crazy opening cutscene with the Spartans just dunking on everything. And yeah. But, <laughs> back, back to Tulpirk. Uh Thankfully, Halo Infinite does not look like Halo 5, but someone thinks it looks like Destiny? It does not. What evidence did he provide? Yeah, and interestingly, 
Um, well, someone made a side-by-side -side video of, like, you fighting a group mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Infinite versus you fighting a Cabal in Destiny. Oh. Okay. You know, it's like, you know, you shoot them, you throw a grenade. It's, a, it's pretty interesting, but what's interesting about it to me is the fact that they're not saying that as a way to be like, look, 343 is doing, you know, this. The, basically, they're not saying that 343 is ripping off Destiny or anything like that. They're saying that Bungie hasn't done enough to innovate since they stopped making Halo. I think that's patently false, but I can see his perspective. Uh, like I said, I would take that as a good mm -hmm. sign that 343 is actually taking cues from and learning from Bungie's movement and combat mm -hmm. systems to try and restore Halo to a place where it has a distinct feel and personality again, because Halo 5 was a void of personality, much the way uh, Resident Evil 6 practically tries to be every genre in an attempt to please everybody. <clears throat> Halo 5 just seemed like, well, since we don't have a distinct gameplay um, feature to ride on or to utilize, we're just going to take everything from everybody, everywhere, and just stick it on your character and hope that it just works out. And like I said, it's like, you've got a shoulder charge. You've got an aerial dunk. You have you can slide. You can slide while firing your weapon. You have a jetpack and can air dash with it. It's insane. Behind enemies, you can do one-hit kill executions, or you can do melee combos yeah. that go up to three. It, there's so much shit mm -hmm. <laughs> that Master Chief can do, but it's not integrated into the gameplay in any significant way. Like, in Halo 4, every now and then, you do a shoulder charge to, like, break a wall or open a door or something, and it was like, okay... I get this. That's why this is here, because there are objects that you can shoulder charge. It's a necessary mechanic. Halo 5 yeah. is just... He mm. can do all these things. You can do it. I don't know why you should do these things, but hey, man, you can do them. And it's like... Okay. Okay. Like, all right, I guess. <laughs> So, okay, thank yeah, you. I don't know. I feel like I take that as a compliment <laughs> from going from a combat system that lacked any identity and kind of pooped on the idea of Halo sandbox by just either including so many enemies that the AI was butt or so little enemy distinction that a lot of the fights that weren't with the Prometheans were just kind of boring. Um, like, I, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't think that's a sign that Bungie has done little to innovate because I think to this minute, Destiny is still one of the best feeling first person shooters and that has given it an extended lifespan that no other game would have gotten under any other circumstances. Like if this game was not fun to play and wasn't mechanically fulfilling, people would not have stuck with it for as long as they did. Like if the game was not so playable, Bungie or not, people would have pooped on it. No, but I mean, like, people would have pooped on it and but stopped playing it. The people that pooped on it didn't really stop playing it. Or at least yeah. the significant ones. Yeah, that's true. Right. Right. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like that's a good thing. And, I no, I think Destiny is probably, like, peak intuitive controlling. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't know what he means from the way you switch weapons to the three-weapon system... The way sliding and sprinting and gliding and all of these movements just kind of... This game has an excellent brain-to-controller connection going for it. Like, I mean an excellent one. Like, I don't have to... After a while, I feel like after a while playing this game, you don't have to think about what you do as much as you think about how you're going to do it. And it's very intuitive... Like I, 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 I have told you that the crazy stuff that I've done, like when I'm buffering the dodge animation into sliding so I can do the, that hunter thing on the ground. Like there's so much going on with these controls. It's weird that he'd have that opinion. Like this feels like the perfect yeah. distillation of what Bungie started when they made Halo. 
which was Halo was previously like the gold standard for control schemes on console. Like there's a reason in every FPS you've ever played, the Y button is to switch weapons, and X is to reload, and A is to jump. <laughs> You know, clicking in your thumbstick zooms in a sniper, right? Like, or or now holding the left the left trigger, because Bungie has evolved the, their uh, controller scheme. Like before, for Bungie games, it was click in the thumbstick to zoom. When I went back to play the Master Chief Collection, I remembered the Bungie control scheme, but I had to change it because since then, Call of Duty made yeah. aiming down the sights with the left trigger a thing, and Bungie. A updated their control scheme accordingly in Destiny, zooming your sniper or aiming down the sights, which is something else that they'd never done before, is done with the left trigger. Like, it's just unbelievably intuitive. I don't get his, uh, his stance at all. He needs to go back and play, like, Halo Reach <laughs> or Halo 1 and see just how far Bungie's control scheme and mechanics have come. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I, I ran smack into it when we played the Master Chief Collection over. And I actually had to change the control scheme to the modern day one because my brain just... I, I, real, I, was, I was thinking about everything I needed to do. I felt like I was literally in 2004. Better control schemes have prevailed, you know? Yeah. B is to crouch. Yeah. It's also to throw down a rift. I mean, c come on, come on. It's so Indeed. effing intuitive. <laughs> like, give me another game that blends these complex movement mechanics with space magic and really robust gunplay. Okay? Because as Anthem, other games like it have proven, honestly, even Borderlands. Even Borderlands does not feel as good as Destiny does. Like, just play other games like this that try to be like this, and you'll see just how well considered and well thought out this control scheme is. Mm -hmm. Alright, sorry, that's a, that's a, sorry if that was a rant. Did, yeah. Didn't mean for it to be? Yeah. I was kind of just responding to what you said there. Yeah. No, that's fine. No, that's fine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, dear. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. You're not saying. You're just saying. <laughs> but I don't know. Was he? Uh, was it? Was it like really critical? Like bad critical? I don't know. It wasn't that bad. It was more. It was more of a lighthearted. You know, these two gameplay scenes are very similar. I would expect it to be, honestly. It would show me that, like I said, it would show me that Halo is learning from the times in the right way. Like, what do you expect when you play a game of this size and scope that looks like this? Well, you'd expect this to be here and this to be here. Like, Grand Theft Auto, no stranger to blending every game type and mode under the sun. You know, they added cover mechanics to Grand Theft Auto 4 at, at just the right time when you could say games were starting to do that after mm -hmm. years of war. It's like, you know, GTA 4 and 6, you know, and by the time you get to 5, it's much better and more refined. Mm -hmm. You know? Is it like playing Gears? No. But it's, it's no. very competent. And it gives you what you would expect from a game asking you to take cover behind things and shoot at things, you know? It's doing the thing it should be doing. Wow. Got bounced. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I was throwing down the long rifts, okay? The long rifts. Long. Yeah, because I'm still using the Sanguine uh, Alchemy. So, Ooh. the Sanguine Alchemy, it makes my rifts last longer if I get kills while I'm standing in it. Each kill gives me plus four seconds. Ooh. Yeah, Very so nice. I'm throwing out these rifts that, you know, that we're all standing in and killing things, oh. so they're, the rifts are lasting unusually long. Oh, this is unusual. What, the Hermit? 
Yeah, I've never had gotten the hermit on here in tier three. Usually it's the whole orc. Oh Wait. yeah, yeah, no, no, no. The hermit, the hermit comes up on tier three. This is actually how I was able to do it this week. I'm glad it's the hermit because the success <laughs> rate I feel is higher on the hermit yeah. than it is on fighting uh, orcs. Yeah. Oh, he got y'all. Yeah, got for sure. Oh, he got me too. Well, no, the, the exploding thrall got me. <laughs> Very nice. You see, you see, see. Imagine the DPS if you actually used your falling guillotine. Oh my God! Leaving damage on the table. <laughs> like, imagine if all three of us. This thing does damage. You gotta bring it out for those DPS moments, bro. Okay. You gotta guillotine okay. it up. I was just, I was, uh, when I put on Destiny One, I got the Dark Drinker. Yeah, it, 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 it really is the Dark Drinker. It just is. Like, it works the same exact way. I'm I'm so glad they made it a legendary. Ow. Well that Nova Bomb didn't do it? That's surprising. Uh. Dude, run! What are you doing just standing there? Oh, all four of us. It's all right. We got. Yeah, he went. It's all right. It's all right. We've got two minutes. Okay. We can we can definitely take them out in two minutes. Two of us have fallen guillotines. Two of us are warlocks. We got this. I've got devour. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna use devour right now. Oh no. Yeah. Whoa, butt cheeks. It's wrong. Oh, it's wrong. Um, it's wrong. You're wrong, dear. Woo. Okay, fine. Revive yourself. Oh no, I'm out of sword ammo. Shite. Yeah, I'm out of heavy too. Whoa, why? Why would they hit me all the way out here? No! This stuff messes with your power. 46 seconds, peeps. Word. Uh, word. Word, y'all. That's how y'all gonna do me. That's how you gonna do the team. Three seconds. Damn. I'm yeah, you should. Down. We have no heavy. 20 seconds left. No hermit. Yeah, I think it's cheeks. Unless we can kill the hermit in like a couple of seconds and. I don't see the hermit. We killed it already. Oh, yeah. I don't even see the knights. Yeah, three, two. Oh yeah, no way. That dude is so alive. Yeah, boo. We need more DPS. Do you have your? Do you have a sword or something on you that does a lot of damage up close? I do have a fallen guillotine. Let me use that. That should yeah. Since we're nowhere fighting the knights, because as soon as they, I switch to arc, so that I'll be extending the life of my arc soul. Mm -hmm. So I'll be extending the life of my Arc Soul um, Rift. Mm -hmm. That'll yeah. be that. That'll be cool. Ooh, oh, it's a grenade launcher. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice. yeah, I think it just came back into the loot pool recently. Oh, what? Boo. Can you yeah. do me a favor? Yeah. Send me an invite. 
Oh, did you get kicked out? Uh, no, I'm about to leave. And you'll find that echoes of the king I'm not okay. holding my what's it called? I'm not. I thought I was holding the drifter bounty and I wasn't. Oh. Yeah, I can still okay. like if you complete one of those bounties in a week, you can still pick up another one. You just can't pick up the same one. Mm. So I did one, and that one got me the um. The upgraded bank. So I can do another one and get like a piece of armor. But hmm hmm hmm. These characters, I'm telling you, good. If Halo, if Halo looks like Destiny to somebody, I'm happy. That's a vote of confidence in my book. You go three, three, four, three. Halo did not deserve to go out like that. No. Although I will say one thing about Poor Halo. Cortana. I have no hmm? idea what the hell is going on. Well, I'm sure they'll explain. They did kind of explain. Humanity got bodied. Like, there was a huge fight that we missed. That, uh... Mm -hmm. I don't know, the son of Tartarus. <laughs> it looked like the son of Tartarus. But, like, this, you know, that, that, that monkey was saying, like, humanity yeah. got into this huge fight. They basically got smacked, and now they're just holding on for dear life while they while this dude and his mm -hmm. creatures take over everything. That's why when you encounter that guy who is clearly a cool sidekick fulfilling the Cortana role and very wisely giving Chief someone to play off of, in, yeah, in the void of Cortana sure. or anyone else being around him, which is great. I think great, 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 great decision. Yeah. I think we'll find out exactly how Master Chief ended up just floating out there in the void. Because when Guardians end, you know, you're kind of on the thingy. Yeah. Yeah, you're on the thingy right as Cortana is about to be like, hey, it's going to be peace. Yeah, it's like, wow. Awesome. No, Cortana, that's not yeah. that's not peace, girl. <laughs> I can control yeah. everyone. It's like you sound like Anakin. How you living? Like just sit with me, <laughs> chief, and we'll rule the galaxies together. Like uh no. 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 No, no, no. No. <laughs> no? You're always welcome by the Well, here's an interesting right. tidbit. Um Do you think this is um It says it oh man, it says you don't have any open slots? It replaced me already? How you living, brother? Uh did you get the invite? Did you hear what I said? Did someone join you already? Oh, okay. It says you have no open oh, I don't slots. Think so. Don't waste this. I didn't notice anyone joining. But I guess they I guess they did. I got body. True Hollywood story. Alright, it's fine. Go on. I'll join you on the next crab. Okay. Just, uh... Like, I, uh, apparently there's a history, like, um, like, you can't really fix rampancy, but there is more than one documented case, apparently, of an AI kind of achieving a kind of like a fourth stage of it where one of the personalities that they mm -hmm. fit into is like megalo it's like a megalomania what? And i think that's what we see in Cortana. her megalomaniac side is what survived yeah yeah 
Yeah, because remember, at the end of Halo 4, she pretty much lit herself apart. Like, you know, she'd been trying to keep herself together, you know, that in pretty much the entire time. Yeah, game. she would, like, snap. And then she goes through, like, the... Yeah, and then she goes through, like, the various stages of it, where, like, she's, like, really angry, and then she's jealous, and then, like... And then she says something like, you know, it's like a million of me arguing at once. Mm. And she was fighting it. But then, towards the end, she's like, wait a minute. If I just let myself split apart, I can pretty much overwhelm this other logic-based organism. Yeah, I remember that. And that's that, what she yeah. did. <laughs> yeah. Crap, I forgot. What's his face? Yeah, I, I know who you're talking about. He's the guy that we have to end that we end up killing like five times in Halo Five. Yeah, the um, the arbiter. No, the, not I what? The um, no, 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 the um, not the arbiter. The not Blah, the blah, blah. Didact, It's a didact. It's the guy that was like a forerunner and he kind of lost his mind but the oh god I can't remember what it is oh, so you're just not gonna call him River Blue okay fine okay but River Blue, blue. <laughs> <laughs> sorry I just I thought it would be funny the River Blue Blue the Blue 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 right uh, the warden. The warden, the warden yes. The warden yes, eternal. there we go. The, yes, the warden yeah. eternal. <laughs> Certainly lived up to his name. Yeah. Good God. <laughs> right. He just re he really would not stop coming back. And it like made no sense like at all. <laughs> he just kept. It's like, am I in back. a simulation? How do they keep reviving you? <laughs> This isn't fair. I don't know. Now I know how the enemies feel. Right. Okay. <laughs> like we just we literally just killed her. What happened? Three seconds later, her entire fire team respawned. <laughs> didn't know what to do. What happened? All we heard was I must be so infuriated. And then they just repeat reappeared. <laughs> right? It, that'd be really frustrating, like, Sadia just killed us, and then all three of us just reappear, and it's like, really? It's like, what? It's like, what? <laughs> you know what it took <laughs> to kill three Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, even, <laughs> even Oryx could not... Even Oryx didn't get that far. She put her ankles in it. Sounds very exciting in there. Oh, uh, well, uh, we're about to uh, attempt the, the Bridge of Folly once again. Once again. Once again, the Sith will rule the galaxy. Is that what you're about to say? <laughs> Where are you going with that? Once again, um, the Sith. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, okay. Oh. Ian McDermott has too much fun. I have to carry on his legacy in the most respectful way possible. You know, he he enjoys it too much. He does. What were you about to say there, kiddo? Did you make it to the last uh, round? I don't know. Uh, no, we're just in the Bridge of Folly right now. Hopefully, we'll make it through this. If not, I'll just leave. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna make it, though. Um, but like, I, I, yeah, we, we did not make it. 
may return to orbit. So that you can then be invited. Please, please, please. Um, so, I mean... Yeah, that whole thing was just weird. Like, it was so kind of... Um, confusing that in Halo 4 we had this like really rich story with Cortana and the chief had like such a he obviously had an emotional connection oh yes absolutely um, um, and then in Halo 5 he seems to, I mean, he kind, like, you're supposed to kind of assume that the reason he's doing things that make no sense is because he's too emotional, which isn't really something that I would assign to him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because he's been a soldier his entire mm -hmm. life. I don't really see him doing weird nonsense. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense because, and if even if you're gonna go in that direction, you kind of need to show. Like you kind of need to show how he got to this point where he's like blatantly disobeying yeah. orders and doing very unchief like things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Like, I need to know how Chief got to this point. He's like. He's straight up tripping balls. Tripping balls. Oh, yeah, he was. <laughs> I like... forgot about that. He really was. Yes, he was. <laughs> yes, indeed. Like, what is that all about? Chief was indeed tripping balls. Yeah, Ch Chief was tripping balls. He was, like, seeing and hearing Cortana in his head, and people were like, uh, Chief? Uh, you all right, Chief? bro? Yeah. Oh, can you send me another invite? <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh man. Wow. See, this just just goes to show you how badness can just. You think it's not a tumor, but. It just... Oh wait, I think I'm accidentally joined you instead of inviting you. You. Whoops. Crab knuckle. Straight up crab knuckle. Just crab knuckles. Just crab knuckles. Just you got the crab knuckles. That's all I'm gonna say. You got you got these crab knuckles and I just don't know why you insist on being so crab. No, I'm not a you got all the crab tendencies. Just head to toe. I do not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell that to the crabs. <laughs> I have told the crabs. Too. Why don't they, they? You know they don't believe you, right? They don't. No. They don't. don't nobody believe you. Well, cactus butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, they should believe me. They should. It's because of you that my light levels have dipped. It's really? Unimaginable. Le yeah, you don't you don't notice something weird going on. Oh, what? <laughs> what are you doing over there? What is what is going on here? What do you mean? Oh, you're wearing all your dream bands. This isn't this isn't season of this isn't what? season of arrivals. Yes, but why are you wearing all this weird ass dream band? Well, you know, I thought to myself, I want to play The Reckoning, but The Reckoning, if I can't be a space hobo while I do it. Um. I don't know why you need to be a space hobo to do the reckoning. 
I, I mean, it. I, I was trying to be de derelict. I, I was trying to be derelict. I, I thought I could. <laughs> thought I could slay <laughs> hive gods in style. Well, you can. I just don't know that the dream bang armor is the best way to do that. <clears throat> And you have, yet again, another example of Jessica pooping openly on Lucien's dreams. <laughs> Film at 11. <laughs> pooping pooping openly just... on Lucien's dreams. Film pooping. at 11. Pooping on his dreams of being included... Oh in Mugatu's derelict campaign. We will have to try, derelict. you know, snoo steel. <laughs> and Magnum on, on another audience. She has successfully <laughs> spread cheeks upon his dreams. Not spread cheese. It's okay, dear. Through this YouTube channel, we will have all the receipts. Your campaign against my dreams will end. I don't have a campaign against Yeah, and your I'm dreams, not 947 okay? like. I mean, you're 947 like because you want to be. <laughs> Spoken like a true oppressor. You tell me that? She told me to pull myself up by my light yeah. straps. You heard her. You heard her, right? You heard her? <laughs> I will bite you. Oh, you will bite me? <laughs> yeah. Well, dear. The joke's on you. I ordered bites already for you on Amazon Prime. Oh, oh did, did you? When will they arrive? Well, I ordered them with Prime Delivery. Oh, so that's like overnight. Knock, knock, open up the door, it's oh, real! It's today. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Dear, fuck waiting for you to get it on your own, okay? X gonna deliver to you. I'll do <laughs> Where do you think knock knock open up the door it's real comes from? Oh my gosh. X. She does not know the bars of X gonna give it to you. Yeah, well, definitely be Our black time. card is just <sighs> I tried black community. I thought it was DMX time. I thought it was DMX time? She's asking me if X gonna give it to you. Is a DMX song. Lord of Mercy. Well, you're asking. Like, you're like, I'm saying. Lord of Mercy. Wrong. Lord. Please play for the soul of this warlock. And distribute nor nerfs to her evenly and humbly. All of the nerfs. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> Girl, you know you deserve those those nerfs. You stop that. You deserve all the nerfs. I do not deserve any nerfs. Yeah, see, as she says this, a warlock right now, right now, as we speak, is just beating cheeks in some poor crucible match. Because he used an air dodge or a last minute clutch rift. Um, really? Yep. Somewhere in the continental US. This is happening as we speak. I 
Are you sure? Are you sure that's how that went down? I am cereal. <laughs> yep. Cereal. I am that serious. Oh no, I'm still wearing the hobo armor, aren't I? Oops. Yeah, you are wearing the hobo armor. Oops. <laughs> like, why do you... I feel so sluggish in this hobo armor. I'm not even joking. It feels really weird and sluggish. Like I'm gliding slower? Is that supposed to happen? Uh... Alright, alright. Let me change Maybe? Maybe. Great, thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm still getting kills, okay? The dominance is at 96%, okay? I contributed with my... my okay. With my weak shots. Great. My, shots on, my shot game is on. They're Listen, weak. the recommended light is still 800-something, okay? I, I am 100 light above the recommended level of, of health. Standards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen! I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking. You know what? I'm just gonna. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. Down there with a bone or something. I'm talking about a bone. No, this guy. No, this guy. He's like banging a bone against the floor. I know what's going on down here. Alright, so, so we're gonna go. I think they were just waiting for me, which is cool because I just I switched all my armor. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm glad that I'm glad they uh, I'm glad they decided to wait for me. Mm. Me too, dear. Me too. This arc soul rift is extended for another ten seconds. Ew. Twelve seconds. Ew. Ah. And it's still giving Arc Soul. Ah, I like that little bit of balance that they that they threw there. So the healing rift counter will still count to zero. And if you know about the healing mm -hmm. rift, at around I think four seconds or three seconds, it stops giving out mm -hmm. Arc Souls or Arc mm -hmm. Soul refills. Uh. So they kind of balanced it for this. <laughs> They balanced it for this exotic vest, like you can't just sit there with an Arc Soul Rift making you Arc Souls for days. The counter will still count down, but it freezes at zero. So it's still a healing rift. Uh, it's just, it's still a healing rift. Uh, it's just not giving endless Arc Soul buffs. Well, that's well, that a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. It's still cool that, yeah, but it's still cool that you can have a healing rift that lasts an obscene amount of time. Uh oh. We got you. Thank you. Uh, we gotta watch the sidelines. These are uh, taken hobgoblins. Yeah. Uh, I've got a sniper rifle. I'm gonna try. Oh, please do, out. please do. Thank you. All right, so far so good. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Uh oh, it looks like we're losing people. Mm -hmm. Somebody gonna revive them or? Where are you? You're behind me? I just said. Oh uh, boy, that's that's a. Oh. I'm at that the. That might be game right there. Okay, I just came back. Yeah, we're not gonna make it.
<sighs> yeah, you can't. We can't leave the dead people dead. You can't leave them dead, dear. They are so necessary. Because if we leave dead people dead, I mean, not not you, because that's whoever was all the way in the back left that dude dead, and it's like, no, mm -hmm. you can't do that, man. Because you're mm -hmm. just missing out on BBF. Oh, the I'm time for the bridge. The time for the bridge yeah. and the fact that it takes 16 seconds for you to self-revive. Mm -hmm. Which, pff, that's yeah. pretty much half of the time it takes to build a link to the bridge. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, just doing it with one less person is kind of booty. Paul Tassie does not like... <laughs> Paul Dazzy does not like reckoning at all. No. He doesn't? Oh, man. He doesn't like the, the nature of the Bridge of Folly. He doesn't like the... He just doesn't like it. He thinks it's badly designed. And apparently... And I don't like this. I don't, or I hope they do something to replace this. I think they said you're going to be able to equip a bond now that just makes you your role. Because all the prime armor is getting on mm -hmm. sunset. Oh. Yeah, so I wonder how they're going to keep the roles in, and then they're going to cut down Gambit to just being, I think, Gambit Prime. But I don't know how you're going to assume your roles. I think it's going to be like through a bond you equip or something like that. or That'll just like give you all the perks of whatever class it is. Mm -hmm. Which I feel like takes away from the kind of customizable or incremental way you can build up your character in Gambit, but I guess I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because there's you know sometimes I do something stupid, like I'll put on two pieces of collector armor and two pieces of Reaper armor, use a collector synth, <laughs> and then have like three collector bonuses and two Reaper ones. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like. That's yeah, fun. like I kind of like that. I kind of like that about it, and I like you know having you know earning the armor is fun at least if you're not you know just bailing at reckoning repeatedly and you can actually synthesize things. You know, I like making the armor. You get the armor. The armor looks cool. It makes you look cool. You, know, you feel good. You want to feel good. Hope you play good. <laughs> Who's Eli? Eli Manning? Who's the... <laughs> well, the, en the emissary said to me, Oh, I heard his name was Eli. She's talking, about the She's talking about the drifter. Drifter's gone by a number. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Somebody please bring me back. Thank you. Alright, we got you. Next segment. segment
Whoa. Whoa. What the it's F? It's no! Oh my god, what the hell? Oh. Well, this is over. Yep. See what I mean? A full revive takes like half of the time it takes to build the bridge. Nope. Nope. It's over. That's not happening. This is why Paul Tassie hates reckoning. <laughs> this right here is why Paul Tassie hates reckoning. Yeah. Yeah. God. Alright. Alright. I we can sell wings to a bird. Oh, I'm actually what? okay. Oh, okay. You wanna head to the tower? You wanna head to the tower? Sure. Okay. Is it actually okay. is it time to head to the tower? Yeah. Yeah. It kind of is. It kinda is. We didn't even get to zero hour. We didn't. But we can get to it on... Uh, or, you know, we could have a bonus day this week where we do all the... Um, get down in some of the dungeons and stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's cool. I'm cool with that. <laughs> I mean, I'm mad, but I, 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 I'm cool with that. <laughs> Don't be mad. Can I still send you like the cabbage triggered, Jeff? You can. You can. Oh, okay. It took. <laughs> if you it, want. Took <laughs> it took me a mile to make that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know, I know. You love that video. <laughs> you didn't see that coming. You didn't see that coming. A lot of your videos are even when I even when I sent you the song beforehand and you heard him say that. Yeah. Yeah. You think? Oh no. Oh, I hope Lucian doesn't hear that. <laughs> Who knows what he's going to do if he hears that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> My favorite part is when he says it. And I have that zoom with the impact font. <laughs> It's almost like he's saying, what? <laughs> uh, oh, oh lord. Uh, thank you, Nav. Oh, jeez. Thank you. <laughs> days, of, days, of, days of entertainment. And Literally days. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay? not my fault when your beats and your words come from Mount Olympus I don't know what you expect of me <laughs> you know <laughs> why oh I got this false rifle called horror what that is the exclusive strike drop from the corrupted. Did you get it masterworked? Oh. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's nice Seti is a pulse rifle. Check it out. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Ooh. Some things should not be saved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is cool. Oh, it's just got mad stability. Mad stability? Right, nice. Mm-hmm. It's got um, outlaw, okay. Then moment, okay. And then moment, okay, not bad, not bad. Cool. This is nice. Yeah. 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 I'm glad. I think it's gonna be sunset soon, <laughs> but you should. But you should totally use it. It's a it's a really good gun. I mean, you still have a whole season to. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. It's gonna be sunset. Yeah, cause I just got it recently too, but I had to uh, confront the realization that it's about to be sunset. Mm -hmm. But it's all right. It's all good. Aww. We still have a good. I think we still have a good stretch of time where, you know, 1060 will still be viable, you know. Especially mm. since the expansion got delayed <laughs> until November. So we have even more time mm -hmm. that 1060s are viable. So it's not a, it's not a, it's not a complete loss. You know. That's true. That's true. I can talk back to it, Kurt. Okay, I'm sorry. So, uh, accomplishments so, on deck for today. What do we do? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, well, I got um, pretty much got all my bounties done. This is great. Um, yeah. Um, no not all. Oh, yeah. Uh, pretty much. I picked up some new ones today, and I got this one too. Mm hmm Yeah. And I also... Oh, I think I actually upgraded the Prismatic Breathecaster. And I got the perk that makes it so that um, the Twisted Energy gets put right into it. You don't have to go over there and be like, Here, let me add... <laughs> yeah. Yes. For something in particular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a gun bargain. Really? Our inventory is stocked, so no rush. Mm -hmm. No word from the yeah. church. Okay. You must have found something in the room. Let's check. Let's check. Let's Oh, man. Wow, what's up? I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna need like some serious vault cleanup. Yeah. Before Beyond Night well, arrives. Well, I could say you can definitely yeah. start by stuff. Yeah, perpetually. Too well, much I say stuff. if you want a good leg to start off on, start with stuff that doesn't have random rolls. You still there? I'm sitting right here, and I just said something to you. I just said something to you. What you talking about, Willis? Do you not hear me? Do you not understand the what? Can't hear you. Do you not understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Fine by me. Crab? Bacall? Bacall? Buck Hall. Oh, there you are. Buck, 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 buck. Oh, oh, there you are. Okay. 
So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how you test your mic. Before. Well, you know, the the B is a is it's a plosive, so you know you can test your uh, mic screen, your um, you know your <laughs> diffuser. You can you can just I'm just it's a very powerful mm -hmm. plosive. The b -ca. <laughs> so I, I <laughs> you seem to really enjoy those sounds though. I, well, I mean, who who doesn't want to be a chicken boo, right? That's true. That's true. Who doesn't want to be a chicken? You can have the best life. Until you start wearing disguises to, to look like human guys, of course. <laughs> That's when you've reached peak boo and you need to have like a friend or family member like step in and you know, just kind of save you from yourself <laughs> when you've reached peak bacaw. Don't get too distracted by the new setup. We're not at that stage yet though. Stop looking at me like that and put the rope down. What? I what? see you. Put that down. <laughs> All right, you. I have enjoyed today's crab session. Me too. Me too. And I think they're they're trying to get me to try this giant seven pulse rifle. I might take them up on that. Looking for anything in particular, Guardian? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That traps for me too. Yeah, right. That thing looks nice. It does look nice. It does look nice. Mm -hmm. Might be worth it. Might just be worth it. Oh no! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got error code ant eater. Oh. oh! I just got kicked out too. I just got kicked out. They too. like kicked me out. Then I spawned in the tower, and then I got bounced out like a split second later. Did that just happened to you too? Uh no, it just kicked me out. <clears throat> yeah, and I'm just looking at a black screen. Yep, black screen for me too. Yeah, no. I was, I, my yeah. black screen is just showing the symbols, you know, the loading symbol. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, mine too. Oh, looks like you left. I got uh, yeah, so I got error code ant eater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> send me uh, send me an invite, and we'll we'll crab back for our outro. Okay. Error code ant eater. The cheek, the nerve, the nerve cheek. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, I will be right back. Give me thirty seconds. I'll be back by the time okay. we load in. Lifestyles of the crab and famous. <laughs>
Black and yellow, black and yellow. Black and yellow. Black and... Hello? Oh, hello. hello. Hi. How do? <laughs> Pretty well. How are you? I was um in the living room. And the mm -hmm. trailer for Lego Batman was playing. Which, as you know, is one of the best Batman okay. movies ever released. So I, I stopped to watch it. <laughs> yes. And remembered that the... Uh, the uh, Wiz Khalifa song Black and Yellow uh, played during the trailer which is both extremely hilarious and ferociously clever <laughs> well I mean yeah black and yellow colors of the mm -hmm. Batman logo yeah they'll that was pretty dope yeah that's a pretty it's a pretty that's a pretty that clever reference. I, I like the Lego Batman movie. Me too. She went to the Harvard. She went to Harvard it's for police. <laughs> Barbara Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. That's hysterical. That whole movie was just uh, wall to wall hilarity, and uh, a. Uh, Showing that uh, the who uh, the people working on this n knew their Batman before jumping in and parodying mm -hmm. it. Yeah, true. And Will Arnett as Batman will never like not be funny. <laughs> Darkness. Oh, parents. Black. Black. Black coffee. <laughs> Black metal. <laughs> really dark things. <laughs> Midnight. Ah, <laughs> uh, it it's, 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 it's the gift that keeps on giving, really. It is ridiculous. In order to maintain my high opinion of the Lego movies, I refuse to acknowledge the Ninjago one. Oof. I heard that was pretty um, bad. Yes, I heard that was not yeah. good. Yeah. I heard, I heard the that. Lego Ninjago movie was kind of booty. Yeah. You could say the Lego movie and um, the Lego Batman movie. You know, they, they, they came from a place of love. <laughs> when things start coming from obligatory places, that's usually when it's time to abandon shit. That's kind of what Agreed. that felt like. It felt obligatory. They're like, let's make another Lego movie because they make money. It's like, no, they were they were good though. Right, that's kind of yeah. Like, made money. even the second one, which cannot live up to the impossibly high standards set by the first one, is still decent. I never, I don't think I, I, don't think I caught the second it's good. one. I found it funny. Yeah, it's oh, kind yeah. of funny. Okay. It's not... Again, the, the the first one is a really tough act to follow, no matter what, I feel. But, I, yeah, the mm -hmm. second one had a different uh, had a different plot. It, it pretty much picks up where the first one leaves off. With, like, his sister and her weird mega blocks. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it takes that and it, 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 it turns funny. it into a pretty interesting metaphor. You know, like how the first one was him relating to his father and, you know, him seeing the the potential in the Lego world differently than he did. And then meeting, mm -hmm. you know, the meeting in the middle. The The sequel kind of does the same thing. Mm -hmm. It kind of it does the same thing metaphorically with uh, him and his little sister, which was really interesting. I thought that was cool. You know. Oh, yeah, cool. so okay. it, it's not it's you know it's not trying to be the first one, and the first one is just unbridled genius, but it was a fun watch and I enjoyed it. <laughs> I love that her name. I love that her name is the <laughs> it, it is. It is actually. <laughs> when you think about it, <laughs> like, your parents named you Wyatt Style. A dead giveaway. Oh, so every, every, <laughs> like like everybody she it. met were like, did your parents <laughs> name you that? Are you a DJ?
That's too much. I the movie's can't. relentless. <laughs> the movie's hilarious. I love it. And Morgan Freeman was like Gandalf. Yeah. <laughs> Morgan yeah. Freeman. <laughs> you know this movie was genius. Yeah. Or how the simplistic, generic, catchy song endemic to every children's film is literally in this movie but the song in itself is simplistic and derivative and catchy and uses mathematically catchy um, musical formulas and is actually mm -hmm. an earworm that does get stuck in your head even though it is a parody of those very kinds of earworms yeah. it's just uh, yeah, it's brilliant. everything is awesome here Everything is okay. Yeah, that's not a not an endorsement of uh group thinking conformity at all. Oh god, what is this Lego driven what is this Lego driven dystopia? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make my thesis about this movie. Good lord. But yes. You should. You should. <laughs> Such a good movie. Ah, uh, the Lego yes. movie. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. Anywho, are you done going through your spoils? Mm. I have an amazing uh -oh. Zavala joke that I've been keeping, like... I've been leaving it on the table, but I think I'm going to deploy it at you tomorrow. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. I can't wait for this. Mm, all right, all right. I'm very excited. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Where are you, and what is that music? Uh, near Savella. Oh, I thought you went to East World. No. Seriously, though. The Traveler is really close. <laughs> when did it get that close? Like, because uh, I, I, I I showed you the picture of the Traveler in Homecoming. Yeah. It looks like it's the yeah. same distance away that it is in Destiny 1. Uh, it actually looks slightly bigger. Uh, it looks slightly yeah. bigger, but it looks somewhat yeah. in line. It's not this monstrosity. <laughs> if you look at the zero hour picture I took, yeah. the traveler doesn't even fit in the frame. I had to angle, like, if you're wondering, oh, why can't I see the banisters or the railings? It's because I was trying to, I was standing in the same place, but trying to get as much of the traveler in frame as I could. Because you can't anymore. Standing in the exact same place. Yeah. Because the traveler's huge! Like, it just, yeah. it's like, I'm just going to get uncomfortably close after I wake up. I'm just going to get uncomfortably close to you guys, if you don't mind. Because if you don't, if you remember, you, you know, you spend the entire Red War on the farm. It isn't until after you beat Gaul that you get the tower back. And thus, a front row seat to the Traveler. So that means the Traveler has pretty much, the Traveler has been this close since the end of the Red War campaign. <laughs> And I'm just like, wow, you, I think you misjudged where you were sitting before. Or Bungie has just made you unreasonably large to show off this, yeah. you know, whole destruction yeah. thing you've got going. Yeah, I think that's, a yeah, I think that's exactly Look at how small the moon is. Look, you can see the moon right now. Look at how small the moon is. It's like really small all the way. So the either distance. the traveler just moving around is just really just fucking with the moon's orbit. Being a body of um, mass, I think they said the Traveler is as large mm -hmm. as two Mount Everest. Yeah. So if the moon getting closer to us is enough to make the, the tide come in, then you could assume through the Roche effect that if the Traveler were to start moving around, it'd probably fuck with the moon's orbit a little bit. <laughs> like it's not close enough mm. to mess with the moon or break it apart. But it's definitely reasonably close mm -hmm. enough to be affected. Like, if the Traveler just felt like doing a Harlem shake, it'd probably mess with the moon, right? So maybe 
somebody at Bungie is hoping that somebody will just go, Hey guys, I know, the Traveler made it go farther back. Yeah. Kind of like the Phobos thing. Yeah. Like, there's a canonical reason yeah. why Phobos is so unreasonably close to Mars. Because <laughs> in real life, Phobos is not that close. Hmm. You don't remember? Alright. Uh, I, I oh, yeah, you in a the... yeah, the Scion Flares okay. brought it closer to Mars so they could use it as like a failsafe in case they were ever occupied or run from the planet. Kind of mutually assured destruction. They were going to psychically hurl the moon into the planet and destroy it. Should they ever get overtaken. Mm. <laughs> That's why Phobos is so unreasonably close to Mars in Destiny. Yeah, it's the Flayers' fault. They did it. Wow. They were like, hey, if anybody takes Mars from the Cabal, they're going to be eating a moon sandwich. <laughs> like, okay, That's well, I crazy. guess I'll just let you guys have Mars then. And it's a good thing the Vex never fully took it. Right. <laughs> right. The Flayers were ready. And I believe it. The Skyburners crashed their main ship to. into the side of the Dreadnought and were ready to blow it up. Cabal do not care about your couch. They don't. Alright, boo. It is the end. Have we, arrived at the we have arrived at the conclusion. Have the expert playlist. Okay. Well. Foods were eaten. Destiny cookbook. Two recipes conquered. Two recipes conquered. And a whole lot more others to Yeah, I think with. that was a pretty fun mini food review we got going on there. Yeah. So would you like to lead us out? Well. I'm just gonna sure. stare at the traveler while um, you do this. This this lighting yeah, is killer. You know, um you wanna check us out on the Instagrams, on the Twitters, on the Facebook, and on the YouTube. Inferno penguins everywhere. But you can also check us out on infernopenguin.com. That what? Dot cam. Dot cam? Like C A M? Mm -mm, dot com. C O M. Mmm. Dot ka. Like C A? Like can't like Canadian dot com. Nope. Nope. Dot com. Well, I've taken away all of your excuses for mishearing our URL. You heard the lady. Infernal penguins dot com. <laughs> that concludes uh, episode one fifty nine of the expert playlist. Tasting the monarch. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around in the chat, mm -hmm. in the etc. places. But for now, uh, until the, uh, we return next same bat time, same bat channel on a Wednesday. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the way I'm gonna. Even though she's. She, 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 she's in her vault, but she's uh, she means it. She means it. What? Good night. Good night. We see y'all looking Good through night. your vault. Just, it's a conspiracy. It's all connected. As connected. It's it just is. <laughs>